Welcome to Zelda Zelda Gaming. My name is Lachlan Linton Keen, and welcome to the 16th installment of our map based Battle Companies hey. campaign. Uh, we have got a juicy matchup today with uh, John, your mighty Lothlorien, are returning, and uh, Jacko, the, the Orcs, fresh off their almost victory against Sharks Gondor. Uh, they're looking for a scrap. I have tasted blood. Yeah, yeah, for the first time. <laughs> Ooh, this is good. Can I get more? Uh, now, the, there's a good scenario today. Uh, we're playing Kill the Messenger, which is kind of a nice kind of pairing for this matchup because it's all about getting up in each other's face and messing each other up quite quickly. Uh, two of our companies are starting right in the centre of the board in a little circular deployment, uh, and they're kind of about 10 inches away from each other in the end because, uh, John, you've backed right the back up, and, oh, of course. and uh, <laughs> Jackson's right up the front of their zones, uh, so John can leverage a little bit of his shooting. So they have secretly nominated one of their warrior models to be the messenger, and they have to keep their uh, messenger alive, and the game will end on quarter, and whoever has their messenger alive wins if the other messenger is slain, and if they're both alive or both dead, it's a draw. So there's going to be a lot of kind of uh, ghosting and a lot of bluffing as to who the, who the messenger will be. Is he going to message um, me back? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see indeed. So uh, it's going to be good. Now, are you guys, uh, you're not touching on any territory. Are you? No, so we've no. got Lothlorien versus Mordor, so you can't steal any territories from no, each yeah. other, but you're just fighting for a few more either blank territories in this critical area, or John, you could make a big gain mm -hmm. over here, uh, and Jacko probably starting to move towards over the Iron Hills to start netting himself some extra campaign points, because this is the last round of this campaign turn before we dive into a few more special activities. Now let's have a bit of a chat about your company, uh, just to make Jack a little worried now. <laughs> My company gained the most experience that it ever gained <laughs> out of a game. Yeah. So. <laughs> True. Uh, so you've got um, you've got some some wags. You've got some heroes. Take us through the roster. To start with, my leader, Drongot Deadslayer, who killed uh, Jacques Moore of the Dead in the first game. I True. Like, yes. Like yes. Of course. Hence Deadslayer. Yep. I feel there's a theme starting. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he's got a grudge to hold. Uh, so he's on a wag. He's got heavy armor and a shield, and he's got an axe. Although we're using the Golfing Wall model, so he's got a bit of a Macy more, club. But it's still heroic yeah. to strike or more. Uh, uh, what's it called? Piercing, Piercing Strike. Piercing strike that's yes. It. He's got the army special rule, which means if he's outnumbered, he gets plus one fight and plus one attack. I yeah, think. right. I think it's yeah, I think it's both, which is going to be key against the Gondorian Horde. He's got heroic presence, which means he gets to call a free heroic combat in return. Oh, and he's got two wounds. That's Jesus. Right. Okay, so yeah. big game. So leader with two wounds, heroic presence, free heroic combats on the Warg. He's got heavy armor now. Hopefully a bit more durable for you so that we can get that heroic presence off. So then I have Rotgob, who is Axeman, useless Axeman. Maybe not useless anymore. He is fight four. Uh, he is... He's got a two-handed weapon, obviously, because he's got the axe. Big axe. Uh, heavy armor and a shield. He's got deadly strength, which is burly. Yeah, burly. So essentially, he's not fighting at minus one anymore with his two-handed weapon, mm -hmm. and he's fight four. I frequently elected not to fight with two-handed weapon because yeah. it just made it even harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is he two he's, attacks he's as well? He's got two attacks. Yeah, two attacks. Nice. So, still on foot, obviously. Yeah, um, still on foot. Perhaps not so useless anymore. Then yeah. my f uh, third hero is Zagar. He's on the path of the general. Um, He's got a bow, throwing spears, heavy armor, and a wag. Nice. He's got lead by example, which gives a plus one courage bonus to everyone. And that's six yeah, six inch bubble, isn't it? Which could be yep. huge because uh, courage is, is going to be very important, particularly for the attackers. Uh, Go uh, Gondor's forces within the gate don't have to take courage tests for breaking, but the orcs still do. Right. So uh, the courage buff could be important here. Good, good. Uh, and he currently has a leg wound, but because he's mounted, it doesn't matter until he gets another leg wound. <laughs> just dismounted. So just cut off his other leg. And what I mean you is shoot the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably a good idea. Uh, next we have Karnok, who is a Moranan orc. He is pretty much just a Moranan orc. Cool. Uh, he's got a pit. He's got a, an axe. I mean, you're still only looking at these three base heroes, aren't you, Jacko? There's no extra hero rosters. I do not have any other heroes. Yeah, cool. So, in terms of your warrior layout, you've got two Black Numenorians now. Yeah, two Black Numenorians. Yeah. I have two... Two Wag Riders. Uh, two Wag Riders. Yeah. Two Moranan Orcs, one with a spear and one with an axe. Mm -hmm. uh, then I just have like an assortment of random dudes. So cool, to make up the rest yeah, of the company to 13. Right. So the three heroes, two extra Wags, two Black Numenorians, two Moranans, and then some Mortal Orc Chaff. But definitely starting to level up that company a bit more, which is good. Why don't we check in with your company, John? This has been a little while since sure. we've seen it. Uh, what, what are we talking here? Four cav now, I think I heard you say? Yeah. Four cav. Uh, we've got three with shields, uh, just a regular cav hero, two sentinels, 
Go to Sorcerer wow. now. Wow. Um, who else have we got there? Is your yeah. Sorcerer just sort of like still basic? He's just casting on the 5 plus? Uh, no, so he's got the first buff. Oh, so wow. He's casting, on the, <laughs> casting on fours. Casting Luckily, on fours. Jacko still has his resistant to magic territory bonus, which mm. works pretty well against. Uh, mm. Well, it, it, it was, was better than nothing <laughs> yes. uh, against <laughs> Goddog. Yeah, so, so hopefully that will be uh, yeah, a, sure. key, a key resistant point for Jacko. But as we were discussing before, Eldemar Magical, which is the sort of magical special effect from the two sentinels uh, isn't resisted as a magical power, so um, that that will still be quite potent, I imagine. Still a shenanigans. Yeah, particularly, indeed. All right, let's get everything deployed, and then we'll dive in and have a look and get this game underway. Good luck, guys. Cheers. Good luck. So here we have our lads deployed. We've got the Mordor forces nestled in, and one orc in particular seems to be quite up the back. I'm not sure what that's about. Why are you highlighting this, Lockie? I, I don't know. I, why didn't... Yeah, sorry. Shouldn't talk about it. Just don't notice, John. It's fine. Uh, and then we have the big line of elves here. Uh, John has carefully positioned two cav on each of the flanks because, of course, he deployed first, uh, which has sort of given him a bit of a response because Jacko has gone hard on one flank, uh, which will be very interesting indeed. So let's jump into priority. Gentlemen, take it away. Big single dice to see who goes first and inevitably calls a heroic Five. Huh? Oh, yeah. Really right. Excellent. Good start. And another five. Oh, now that's fine. Alright, so five apiece. Well, which means you're both re-rolling, so get it. <laughs> oh, excellent start. Big six! six. Ooh, okay. Someone wants to go first. And a four. So, uh, the priority goes to you, Jacko. Uh, any heroic moves from you, John? Uh, no. No, no heroics? Alright, Jacko, really? take it away. Hmm, okay. I'm not gonna sound the drums, because I wanna fight. If I don't fight, I'm just gonna get Eldramar magical into Oblivion. <laughs> um, so to start with, this wag is going to charge the leader who has hero killer. So because I don't want my heroes to get killed. Ah, true. So just using the normal wag on him. Yeah. Pairing him up. Oh, he's already lost. He's already lost. <laughs> he's already fallen off. <laughs> he's that scared. All right, I'll fix that later. <laughs> then my leader is going to multi-charge these two models, coming in like this. Okay. So pairing off. I'll come around here. It's because you. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Coming in and tagging those two elves in the very front, stopping some of the counter charge wrap at least. Yep. And then uh, Zegar is going to charge this horse, and on the way he's going to throw his throwing spear. Oh yeah, cool. Get that big hurl off. So fives to hit because he's in the way, on the way into the charge. No. Big miss. Reroll. <laughs> what, what is it to wound? It's two. Oh, what's you your six? your D six and D five on the horse? D5 so on the horse and so D6 you're looking on. at uh, fives on the horse, sixes on him. It's fairly unlikely. Yeah, I'll say it would be nice, but we'll would, just would have been. Well, phenomenal. it's a shoot. Uh, I got to hit on fives. I got a wound on fives. Probably not a good idea. But I still have to, I, I have to win a fight against elves. I mean, he's only got one attack when I don't charge him. Right? Correct, and you only have one attack too, because yeah. you don't get your cav bonus. Yep, but I have rerolls. Uh, you do, but he has L's. <laughs> but I have rerolls. Uh, yep, yeah. and then the rest of the guys are just going to form like a little sort of phalanx away from the out of charge range of the dudes. Clever, so setting up a 10 inch, 10 inch safety zone. Yes. Excellent, he says. <laughs> well, they're not engaging me. Though. I can't, I can't engage. <laughs> John's happy with any targets. Yeah. He doesn't care where they come from. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, when you say it's fine, I'm I'm thrown to that the the, the burning dog meme with the office burning around yeah, him. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, and then you. All right, so shimmying as much as they can move, but staying out of ten inches. Yeah. Ten inches of these. Easy. Yeah, well safe, especially with the curve over that. So then all the shields are at the front. Uh, anything for this particular oh, yes, dude at the back course, here? Yes, your, yes. your super pro sniper, who's hanging back to be in the safety yep, for range getting, shooting. Getting ready to line some shots up from inside this building. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to go... I wonder who it is. He's going to go five to here and then one... To <laughs> he's inside already. See ya. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, wonder who Jackson's messenger could be. Alright, <laughs> let's, um, let's jump into your movement, Johnny. Uh, would you like four hours of thinking time like Jackson? Shut up. Um, <laughs> Alright, I think what I'm going to do... I've got potentially two Eldermar Magic Girls that I can pull off this turn. Can you Eldermar do <clears throat> the same guy twice? No, I don't think so. It's just just each each model. Because uh, well, once you've passed a test... or one, mm, Yeah, I don't think so. 
Definitely not if they pass, because you can only take one each type of test once per turn. Scar's gonna go for the trap. Yep, wrapping around on Dromgot. That's what I expected. Who I uh, want to kill, call Golfimble every single time. Um, <laughs> Getting the three pointer there. Then we are going to cast a mobilize transfix or mobilize um, on him. Yep, with, with the hero. Uh, so how much will you got? You got two, two, and you don't have any free per turn like Jark. No, I don't. Okay, have to cool. So just going for uh, one or two. You're gonna blow it all. Resisted. This turn. I got resistance to magic and a will point. That's true, so he will be resisting on two dice. Yes, potentially. Well, well then, potentially. either this is going to work or it's not going to work. It's going all in. <laughs> Alright, so you need fours because you've got the modified casting value. And you're looking at a six and a five, which yes. is so why sort of steep. Roll a six, right? A six on two dice. Now you've got your, you've got well, your, your free resistance to magic and one will. Um, and you can use might to modify it. Like, you can. Now the important thing is if you use your will and you get a 6, get you get the will back. So you need to differentiate which is the free dice and which is the non-free dice because you can't use free points of will to get dice back from resisting. We'll um, see how the king of the, uh, the army of the dead dice go for me. Okay, cool. They're terrible for everyone else, they must be good for me. That's right? true, and you're burning both will points. <laughs> One will point and, I'm not and resistant to magic. Yeah, sorry. So two dice to resist, needing a six. Yeah. Which one is your? Um... Oh yeah, uh, we'll say the red's resistant to magic. Okay, cool. Red for resist. That makes sense. Let's see the dice, Jacko. Oh, oh, gets the Ooh, six. On the will, and it's on your will point, yes. so you get it back. That is literally the perfect outcome. Oh, that's excellent. Well, yeah. Do I also get a six because? No, because no, you I cast. Really it's not. only on the resist. Okay. So yeah, so that's will retained and magic denied, and that is all John's magic gone for the whole game, apart from mm. Eldramar Wankagul. So uh, let's jump into the rest of John's movement. Right, I'm movement. using these uh, Army of the Dead dice. Jack, Jack's Load a up. convert straight away. Um, I don't know what yeah, about. piling in, piling in. Yeah, Can't in. make the trap though. Doesn't have the uh, the movement, but he can get in and stack those pesky elven attacks. Um, oh, I just got to survive this turn. Now, has this guy used Eldramar Madrigal yet? No, not yet. Okay, cool. No, which one? Which one was that? That oh, he hasn't. That was, the, that that was, that was your sorcerer. I yeah. Yes. And he's he's just got a spear, hasn't he? So he's Correct. he's spear supporting. It, now that could become a staff of power. We we, we know that the, the history. Um, okay, I think we're actually going to pull this guy. Yep, the Heldia model. Jump on in, God, he is stacking those attacks against Strong God. Yeah. Ooh, that might be a dead hero. Mm. I got two wounds and a fate point. Yeah, that's a lot of attacks on your trapped. I'm worried. I'm worried, particularly as all the elves will be able to two hand because there's so many of them. If I didn't get trapped here, I was going to get trapped somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Oh God. Can you see him though? That's the question. Oh, that's the question. Oh, there is a. Oh, there's there a, window a window right there. Oh, there's a window <laughs> <laughs> from the window. I forgot that that could happen. Yeah. All right, mm, in they go. Like ten inch move there too. So tagging onto this one here, John. So, I think the archer can definitely see this guy. Over yeah. Here. Um. I probably should move this guy over here. I don't think I'll be able to get both. Where did he come from? He, he came, came from, from like here. over there. He was that dude. Yeah, so that dude went, went all the way around. Yeah, he, I don't think. I don't, he, he went. Think, he went rich. Yeah. Rich. That's cool. I'm just gonna commit. There. Jumping in, oh, drum got so dead. Um, heroic combat time. Uh, uh, all right, and Bowman is he charging in or hanging back? Get a few shots off. John loves his his sniper, and that uh, that uh, sentinel also has a bow, doesn't he? She, she. Sorry. At twenty-four. Oh. I think you're in. Can you see him? Oh. Yeah, I can. If I, moved, if I moved over here, I think uh, I can get in. I don't think. No? I, have a look from Model's eye because of the way he's positioned. You might be able to. Oh, I definitely can see him, but I think he'll get he'll get cover. Yeah, get the big uh, the tough fortifications cover as well. So uh, tough to shoot through, but the elf has two shots, so you never know. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to move this guy three inches over here. Racking up another shot from the Sentinel. All right, is that every elf move? No, I've got a couple back here, John. Um, yeah. Just check my range because I'm going to do an Eldemar Magic. Oh, ball. yes, all right. Who is taking the courage test, Johnny? We're going to pull an Eldemar Madrigal on. If we pull, we're going <laughs> to. 
Gonna pull it off. Screaming on... child in the back of the audio. It's, it's fine. <laughs> pull it off on this guy here. Okay. Okay. Uh, so courage check for your orc there. You've got two dice and you're looking at eight on two dice. I got plus one. Oh yes, Sorry. you do. Seven. Is Zagar within six? He certainly is. So seven. Is everyone except Spark. Spark. <laughs> oh, you <done. laughs> done. And hey, you're good. Yeah, boy, oh, boy, 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 boy. That's two sixes on three of these dice so far. Yeah, he's loving them. Jackson's a convert. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> that's cute. That's cute. That's cute. That's Rogers sixes. These Rogers sixes. When he's not here, we can roll Rogers sixes. When he's here, they roll Rogers ones. We're gonna throw this guy over here like so. Cool. And then we're jump. going to throw this other sentinel. He's going to. Now he can, can cast I... Eldmar as well, right? Yes, correct. Yep. Cool. Um, but he can't shoot through these guys to that to them, can he? Why on it? Oh, shoot through? Yeah. No, because no, because they're, because they're, they're in combat. combat. Yeah. yeah cool. He can elder arm magical through them though, because yeah. uh, that that doesn't have in the way. Yeah. All right. I think we're just going to pull this guy potentially three inches. Falling back with the sentinel. Okie dokie. Not very far. Not very far. Lining up some shots for the future, perhaps. Uh, I. Th I think, once John's happy with his placement, that'll take us into shooting phase. Yep. Jacko. I'm just gonna do one more little Oh, of course, of course, sorry. These pesky spells. Yeah. We'll throw it on this guy. Again. This guy? Same yeah. guy. Let's see if you can risk- actually, uh, you can't target the same oh, role yeah, twice because he's already taken a test of that type. Take this one. The Scully. The one at the back? Yeah. Yep. Scully up the back. Two dice, once again, needing eight. Uh, seven, actually. Oh. I, I lied. And got the seven again! Oh, loves it. <laughs> oh, these dice are good. Yeah, yeah, Jacko's keen. All right, uh, so now it is shooting time, which yep. you will start with, John, because your uh, only bowman has moved full and Zagara is in combat. Yep. Uh, so take it away, Johnny. Where do you want to start? We'll start with um, this sentinel here first. Yep. He's going to take a shot at this guy over here. So that is D5 for that model. Yeah. Yep. So uh, you'll be wounding on fives, hitting on threes, because he doesn't... Get a penalty for moving, John? No, he will. So okay, cool. Hitting on fours. Hitting on fours with shot number one. Big oh, one. Strong one. Big Rogers one. Um, and then we'll do two shots with my uh, expert shot hero. He is going to thing to at the same guy. Same guy? Needing threes? Yes, threes, because he has the... A uh, big miss, another big Rogers one, and a, uh, a four, so that hits, and you're looking for fives with strength three of the elf bows on D5 of the Mordor Orc armor and shield. And rerolling ones, because poison weapons. Oh, nice, and Ooh, yes, the two, the worst, the worst result of all. <laughs> uh, any more shooting? I think you're only other sentinel doesn't have any targets. Yeah, that's it. All right, combat phase, boys. Any heroic actions? I got free heroic combat. Excellent, that's good. I've got a kicked over studio lighting stand. Good job. Um, so uh, our free heroic combat could of course go off. You don't have to call it. Um, I mean, you can if you want. I suppose it doesn't change anything. Uh, well, no, yeah, because I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to kill anyone, really. So. No, you, you won't be trapped. It, it doesn't make any difference, really. And I have priority, so I get to the side, so whatever. Cool. It doesn't really matter. Let's so. just do it, then. I will call her. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Okay, yeah, well, then I'll call one. Then. All right, all right. Well, let's 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 do the roll off to see. Okay, this is actually very important. Mm. This came up on GBHL recently. So, if Jackson wins the heroic combat roll off, mm. and his heroic combat goes off, and then he gets killed, that means that John's heroic combat can't activate because the model's already dead, and his models won't be able to heroic. So it actually, it's a great way of, if you, like for instance, the, the example that was on GBHL mm. is if there was a ranger, uh, like, you know, a, a Dunedine fighting Arzog, and Arzog called a heroic combat. He's obviously going to kill him. The ranger had a point of might left, so he just called a heroic combat. So that, and his won and went first, and then Arzog kills him. Arzog doesn't get to move because his heroic combat is called, was negated because they don't happen at the same time. They are separate actions in the phase, even though it's the same combat. So um, it is it is important here. So it, it, it actually matters. I really don't want all those guys moving on to the next one. Exactly, because they can oh, just go then, floop. Wait, can, and then he can call a heroic combat? And, or do you, you call all your heroics at the start? Yes, you call all your heroics. So, so, you could, yeah. so could John 
core heroic here and here, and then when he's got when he resolves this combat, move into this one, and then when he wins that one, they move again. No, so each model can only move once, okay. but you can set up a slingshot where you're stacking attacks, right. yeah. uh, which a lot of people do with Ranger of the North Army. It's Kylie made that kind of famous at Articon, where she she just it's called the the heroic slingshot waterfall, where you call heroics with all of them and just move from one to the next to the next, always stacking extra attacks on the move. Um, but then the models that have fought twice just stay, and then their friends keep going yeah. to keep stacking. Uh, cool. All right. Well, uh, who's got priority? You do, don't you, Jacko? Yeah. So you get to do the roll off on a one, two, three. The heroic action of Dromgot will go off on a four, five, six. It will be your. Is it your leader? Uh, no, no, no. It's just one of the sergeants. Okay, cool. Which model sergeant. there? The little, the little uh, bow wielding sergeant there. Take it away, Jacko. Okay, so we're going to use the red dice because we know how good they are for me. Excellent. <laughs> Looking for a one, two, or three for Mordor. Four, five, or six for Lothlorien, and uh, it goes to Mordor. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we now fight the combat as normal, uh, but it effectively denies John's heroic combat, which will be big. Which will be big because it means all those models can't slingshot on. Uh, so an, an effective use of the heroic uh, action there for uh, Dromgot. Uh, do you want to set the tone, Jacko? You've got the three dice yeah. before John calculates his millions. I am outnumbered. I am on a log. Excellent. I am an orc. <laughs> so three attacks. Wait, does the warg bonus get cancelled up by my cavalry? Oh, it does. Oh, so you both don't have charging cav bonuses. So just, wow. just the two attacks for you. Wait, ruin my day. <laughs> Looking for a six, just because. That's well, that's a that's a great start. Uh, well, I can wait until I see what John rolls before I roll one. Absolutely, in terms of reroll, yeah. But I imagine John's going to get a six with this many attacks. Well, so we'll see. you're looking at Cav with uh, no charging bonus, mm -hmm. and then one, two, three. Uh, are any of those heroes multi wound? A uh, multi attack? No. I don't think so. So. Six and six with the support. Okay, so Anyone have might points for yes. differentiation? The spear guy. Oh, the spear guy. Yeah, so you roll, if you roll even a five, you win the combat. Only if he gets the five on his green, oh, but yeah. Alright, so let's set the tone for us, Johnny. Um, <coughs> any... I'm also going to make... Oh, I'm going to also make, do, make one, two, three guys do... Two-handing? Two-handing. Okay, cool. So do you want to break those dice up because they'll be at minus one? Oh, sorry, not two-handed. The oh, yeah, no, that makes sense. You mean so, faint. No, no, not fainting. He, he could choose to faint, which will decrease his fight value, which he could because he's got fight value elsewhere in the fight. So they could faint to reroll ones to wound, but they could also two hand to get plus one to wound. Uh, but of course, they get minus one during the fighting phase. I think he's already trapped. I'm just going to do regular strikes to make sure that. I okay, cool. Still fainting though. Yeah, I'll faint. Yeah, cool. Which doesn't affect this roll, so we don't have to break them up. So green is the hero with might, a six to guarantee it. And there's one naturally and one on the green, so it goes to the elves. No, no point. I mean, yeah, wasting the rerolls, I'd say. So, Dromgot is well and truly trapped. Are you going to strike on the Warg any times to milk some experience? I think you should go for the Warg, guys, <laughs> all the time. With all the dice. Um, on, go. <clears throat> we're going to put, well, I mean... He's D6, um, and two wounds, one fate. So you're looking at sixes to wound from everybody, because uh, there's no strength four in there. Uh, and when you, you'll be looking fives to wound to wound the warg. I've got three dice that are fainting. Mm -hmm. Rerolling ones. Rerolling ones to wound. But I'm already rerolling ones to wound before you use so. Oh really? On all your weapons? Yeah. Crikey. Every so every Lothlorien weapon is rerolling ones to wound. That is crazy. You literally don't need to faint ever again. No. Jeez, some of these scenario bonuses are hardcore, or Let's... territory bonuses. So I have... Okay. He doesn't get an extra attack, does he? Yeah, they're trapped. Of course he does. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, let's put his on him first. Okay, so on the warg or the... On the hero. On the hero. So striking with the strength three, looking for sixes on Dromgot. Rerolling ones. And there's a one and a two, rerolling the one. And a four, so no wounds from the spearman. Next strike. Um, we'll do one, two, we'll do... We'll do the archer hero next. Archer hero. So he's got two as well. Cool, so strength three, because uh, uh, of course two attacks because he's trapped. Looking for sixes once again. And we've got two, two ones, ones, which are reroll because of poison. That's just cruel, isn't it? And then a five and a two, so nothing there. <laughs> Any might points? Could have, well, I would have had one if I hadn't spent it to try and do a very Oh, true, true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, surviving so far, but there's still a lot of attacks left to come. Okay, two more from him. Two more from, this is your Cav, who's yep. uh, just using his single attack, which is doubled up from prone. Once again, needing sixes, rerolling ones. 
And two fives. We have my turn. <laughs> uh, no, that's just a normal cap. No, that's... Um, where yeah, next? We're gonna do six strikes from one, two, three. Okay, and just all on Dromgot? Yeah, just Okay, so sixes here, re-rolling ones. Six. Let's do it. One six and two re-rolls. Oh, yes. And two sixes, okay. Well, That's got... big. So Jacko's got fate and some re-rolls. Could yeah. keep Dromgod alive here, Jacko. Uh, you're looking at one fate roll. Let's jump in. He lives. Save! Wow, not only did the heroic combat get denied oh, from you. his not Sauron. dying. Thanks, Sauron. Thanks, Sauron. <laughs> thank the maker. Well, there we go. Oh, okay. The elves once again <laughs> executing almost as amazingly as Gondor, the being unable to kill anything. I think only Easterlings kill things worse than, than elves. Um, uh, bad luck there, Lothlorien. Drumgod survives! Big play. Big play. This is quite important. Yeah, alright, well we've got a few more combats. Uh, where do you want to go so next, Jacko? He's got one wound. He does. That, one wound left. I think we won't forget. He's mm -hmm. <laughs> well, quite an occasion. how long he survives. Uh, do you want to do the next one across next, or your big combat? Zero first. Uh, Jacko? Oh, this one here? It's my choice? Yes, uh, it is your yeah, choice. Yeah, let's do that one. Yep. So oh, wait this a minute. Just... Oh, yeah, yeah, because there's no heroics or anything like that. It is, yeah. So this is just one attack each, right? Yep. Yep, so one one dice, roll the, roll the high fight, hey? <laughs> big three, and... Big one! one. Uh, so it goes to, uh, goes to the yep. forces of Mordor. Now you've got strength four on the warg against d6 of the elf, right? Um, yes. Yeah, so fives to win the elf, or fives to win the horse. Whichever you prefer and to go. Fate. Okay, one fate. Uh, yeah, one how many wounds? Just one. Do you have any multi wound models, John? Yeah. I've okay. Got, uh, both my archers have two wounds. Okay, cool. Well, that's easy to keep track of. <laughs> Alright, going on the man or the horse? We'll go for the man. Going for the man? The elf, I should say. Needing, yes, true. Needing a big five and a one. I'm going to reroll that. Oh, oh, true. Yep. Mm. Cool, cool, cool. Using one of your rerolls? No luck. Alright, so one reroll down. Jacko's down to four. He's got to take his chances to make these kills wherever he can. Uh, and now we've got one fight left, which is going to be tougher for Jacko. Once again, it's his hero, Zagar, who has charged in with two attacks, I think, right? Two attacks base for Zagar? No, that's Rockgob. Oh, that's Rockgob, so he's just one. So one attack for Zagar. Two might, And then, yeah, that's true. And one attack from each of your models there, John. Any special strikes for you? I suppose there's no point, is there? Because you reroll ones anyway. I technically want to have one. I prefer to have one more guy in the combat so that I'd be able to... Like risk two-handing? Two yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, do you want to set the tone with the higher dice? Sure. And a one what and a cocked. That? Yeah, that's cocked. There's one. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. There you oh, go. Okay. Two ones! Two ones! Two ones. Right. Yeah. This is <laughs> something I can do. It is, with one dice. Oh, four. Yes. Just, I thought, like, it was, it was flipping close. on the yeah. one as well. Well, there you go, Jacko. This mm. has been a much better turn for the orcs than we thought it would. Okay, um, uh, is this guy a hero? No. And this no. guy, so you're looking at defense three oh, and defense six. six and five. Mm, so, <laughs> so fours to wound the defense three with the wild <laughs> strength. Uh, you do, yes. Uh, and you don't need them. The need first them. casualty, can you believe it, oh. to the orcs? Oh. Uh, well, well executed, charging right. wags. That's it. I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's all the kills you make. Hope you uh, and good game. <laughs> uh, let's jump into priority, guys. What a crazy turn. Uh, big six. John wants it back. Um, and I had it. So and you had it. Back. So it auto swings to John. Any heroic moves for you, Jacko? Yeah, I'm gonna call one with um, Zagar. Zagar burns a point of might. Would you like to counter call, John? Um. Yeah. The hero, the Gandalfy spear wielding yeah, magic. Spear Why does everyone have a magic hero? Yeah, I know, it's terrible. Alright, now, uh, you got priority, so you get to do the roll off, uh, roll off Johnny to see who's goes first. Oh man, that should be cool. <laughs> <laughs> And a big oh. one! Jeez, yeah, the, uh, that was a really like. Doom yeah. one. Quite cinematic. <laughs> Alright, well, it goes to you, so Zagar has to move first, Jacko. And yes. you've got a lot of interesting Let's options get the hell here. Out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go. Oh yes, all right. Oh man, this is gonna be. Uh, this is a, this is gonna be a turn. A bit of encircling, I think. Look at this. this will be a turn. I can't believe all three wards are alive. Like, what is going on? I know, right? This oh. guy's a hero, right? He is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two statues. Hmm. Mm. Tasty. Real tasty. 
Let's go like this. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it nice and central. Sure. You don't even want it. Yeah. I need yeah. some more. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll support. We'll do, yeah, we'll just go in and support. And then these guys. So let's write it's going to get in combat over here. Uh, after much deliberation, I have positioned all my guys as tactically as possible. So we've tied up uh, all the cavalry. Uh, we've got our hero killer fighting a non-hero. I'm going for a heroic combat here with uh, my leader and my axe man, along with Scully supported. Uh, this two hand is just hanging here to prevent the support from being Eldramar magical out. So he's on an angle so that he can't actually move. This wag has wrapped around the back and tied up these two people, including one of the sentinels. I'm a little bit concerned that these three guys will just pile on and kill him, or maybe contribute to other combats. And I've left these two free to do whatever they want. Well, Johnny, that leaves you with five models to move. Oh, actually, Jackal, let's, one, let's, let's not forget. One important thing. Also, uh, this guy's moved in here and decided to take a nap. I wonder why. Perhaps he's afraid of being shot. Oh, dear, oh, dear. All right, Johnny, jump into your move. Go get him. Yep, so I'm just going to move this guy right here. He's going to move into base to base with this fella, and then he's going to cast Eldemar Madrigal through the window to that orc over there. So a big terror check for you, sir. Uh, still a plus one. Is he within six? Yeah, he's easy within six of six, six of oh, Zagar. That's the other thing I I've got to check. I've got to make sure that uh, everyone should still easy. be within six easy, of Zagar. Easy, easy, yeah, All right, so looking for seven on two dice. And a five Wait, and a six. That's great. Eldramar Madrigal is not, not coming off today so far. One model left. John, are we going for the charge or are we heading off to investigate this potential bluff or potential objective? I think if I just made Jacko flee, then... Yeah, I guess if you break me... Oh, that's, that's, that's... Now he's just got one less guy. So. That's very true, yeah. So I'm going to make this guy just... Thunder through in the back, so he can get seven inches over to here, and then he'll be able to charge the skull. Tagging off that single orc there. All right, you've got three left in the back here, Johnny. Your magical Gandalf supporter, but of course, who has blown all his will on his big fluff last turn. <laughs> and, then, and then the two, the two elves, the wood elf and the Lothlorien with the uh, hand and a half elven blade. Okay, so we're gonna throw this guy over here like so. Jumping in again onto this little shield wielding. Uh, Mortal Orc. This guy's just gonna run around here. Cool. Plug himself right yeah, in. Yeah, he'll. Oh, I don't, know if he'll don't think you'll get both of those combats. Can you just, can't you just move him first, though? No, because there's not enough room for them to both actually sit. Yeah. Oh. What do you mean? Oh, if you if you pushed him through and wrapped him a bit further back. But they can both sit there, right? Why can't Why can't you just move this one first? Also, if you're gonna charge him, terror chest. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, you know he he could fit. So do your terror check first, because he'd have to be the first model so, to move. Yeah, he has yeah. to go first. Yeah, do the terror. And then there'd be enough room if he if he wrapped around the raid yeah. space a little. Because they're just standing there, right? Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right, two dice. Uh, at um, <laughs> Negwan, Harbor no, of Evil. No. He, he did the move there, and then this guy's trying to see if he can. Oh, he he'd have to move first, is what we're saying. Because yeah, there's, there's no room. There's no Could I move between the two bases? Could I move to there like that? Oh yeah. Then, oh, yep. Yeah, 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 yep, yep, yeah. Cool. All right, terror check. And Good. brave, brave as Maeve. I am not surprised. And in he jumps. And then one model left, a spear support, thrusting in or diving in and around. Uh, my sorcerer hero is just gonna jump over here. Get that spear in. All right, well, once again, no shooting. Uh, you want to call any heroics, gentlemen? I'm gonna call for a heroic. Heroic combat? Um, with Drumgot. Uh, Drumgot, yes. And I'm gonna call a heroic move with the Archer hero currently in combat. Heroic combat? Yep. Yep, cool. Uh, Alright, so once again we need to do a roll off. So at the moment, this is a one on one, right? Yep. So I could call. And it, is this just a normal dude? Yeah, it's just a regular it one, is. one attack. So I could call a heroic You hero could call well. another heroic combat with Zagar. Zagar's only got one might though. Uh, yes, but elf. you've got uh, two attacks with him on the charge, and that's just an elf, isn't it? You have no yeah. banners, do you, John? No. Oh god, a fight with no banners, how different. I know. Um, cool, alright, well, you want to call another one, Jacko? Could get greedy, and I move into another combat. Uh, if, how does, if his, uh, 
Where's this heroic combat happening? Uh, here, is this what I'm talking yeah. about? This one right here. So yeah, one, two, three, yep. Yeah. So, so two models to kill one orc. I could win this heroic combat and then go in here and they essentially tie him up and make his heroic combat. Well, yeah, he'd still fight it. He'd still fight it, yeah. but against my hero instead. True, which would be tougher. Right. Yeah. Well, it is like... <laughs> That's true. So I could just go somewhere else, tie up a sentinel probably is probably a good idea. Because I get my cavalry bonus again, right? You do, you do, if you've charged. I'm gonna. What does that leave me with? So I've done. He's free, so he's still got a point of might, and he's still got a point of might. He will have none left. So yeah, I will also call it. Okay, uh, cool. The turn of heroic combat. So uh, now whoever's got priority does the roll off, which is you, Johnny. Let's see who gets to do one of theirs first. It's uh, evil again. Uh, so now Jacko's got a decision as to which one he wants to go off first. He's got Dromgot and one. Two, which would move with. Obviously, the support he's doesn't supported. move as well, mm -hmm. but he does contribute in the first fight. Oh, wait. oh no, he's in there too. Isn't he? Yeah, one, yeah. two, three. three. Sorry, yeah. I should. I counted three in my head. Didn't yeah. vocalize. Or you've got Zagar against one, uh, one Wood Elf. Now, bearing in mind, Jacko, that you only get to do one of these before John, John gets to do his. Great. So if he wins for a combat, he could move in here and and take some dudes out of that fight. So That's I'm definitely true. The, Drumgot. The drum got fight first. So you've got just a single die, right, John? But you do have fight five. So one Me. six is big here. Do you want to set the tone? Uh, let's. Well, yeah. Oh, all right. You know what? Add, 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 add up all your dice. Add up all your dice. We'll make it climactic. Because if you just roll a six and we don't do this, it's, it's well, very you, sad. You take your time if you want. Just, <laughs> just roll and see if you get a six. All right. Roll the dice, John. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, so two attacks for the axe dude, two attacks for Drongard. Wait, oh, we're doing this one. Yeah, yes. that one. Oh, okay, yeah, cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, still just one dice though. Yeah, so because yeah. if you won this one, mm. you would have two guys to go and yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and then so yeah, two attacks for Drongard. Yep. Two okay. attacks for Rotgob. Rotgob. Uh, you've got your two hand up, and then a spear support as well. So uh, I guess you've got fight four in the fight everywhere, so it doesn't actually like. Uh, um, you, yeah, you've got the lower fight, so you won't be able to faint. Uh, you could, yeah. Any other special strikes from your different models? Uh, no. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna strike with the two-handed weapon. Yes. So that's two-handed weapon is green. Mm -hmm. Spear support is white. Mm -hmm. uh, Drongot is army of the dead. Yep. Cool. He, he kills army of the dead. And then, the and then red is axe man. Axe man. Roger that. Let's go. Needing higher than a three. Reroll. I'm rerolling. Oh, holy shit! Don't touch those dice. <laughs> reroll. Reroll. Re two, re one, one, two, three, two. Reroll. Um. Well, you, well, first of all, oh, I could just use a point of might and win, right? Yes, but maybe don't reroll the dice that has might on it. Oh, of course. So um, first, I can just. You were gonna do a reroll. Yeah. I'm just gonna do a reroll. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus <That's advised>. Christ. <laughs> so I have three rerolls left. Yeah. So you need a four. That is strong. Okay. I'm gonna use a point of might. Or another reroll. <laughs> oh, because I can reroll other dice. Yeah, you can reroll other dice. Right, right. Uh, yep. Well, so I another I'll three. Reroll this die. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is technically a one. This is a two. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Doesn't cool. Matter. Gets it on the four. Okay, so it took him two rerolls to win the combat. Two left. But he got there. So now you've got to kill the elf. Yeah, so defense, defense six. six. So, uh, what are we looking at here? Um, uh, so we've got two in a weapon, which is plus one. Yep. So strength three on defense six is sixes. Cool, all right, so, you wanna, so down to fives. Do you want to do that one first, nice and easy? No. Well, big one. That's gone. So that was Scully's single attack. Yep, spear support is sixes. Natural sixes, no luck there. Okay, no um, and now the two heroes. Now I have, I still have might on both of these guys. Yep. So you're looking at, now they're both strength three standard. Yeah. No one oh, got a strength no, no, upgrade? No, no, no. Yes. Oh, I forgot. I forgot Ron Ronkov's got a two-handed weapon. But he's yeah, he, yeah, he does, so he's plus one. Yeah. So it. you're looking at sixes from Dromgot and fives Five. from Rotgob, uh, with might on both dice. Yeah. So which one's Rotgob? Rotgob's red. Rotgob red, makes sense. Fives and sixes, I see... I see two fives. Wow, that's Five. three wounds. <laughs> he's dead. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> um, all right, well... Is that three, is that three wounds? Oh, it it's doesn't matter. He's only one wounded model, yeah. right? So yeah. you needed fives yeah. on that and sixes on that. So yeah, I needed sixes on that. Right? Oh, it doesn't matter. One wound, super wound. Yeah, yeah, one wound. Uh, one wound, uh, which gets rid of him. Ooh, that's axe. That's axe man. That's and then we're looking for your heroic slingshot, sir. So they all go to one. Everyone, combat? no, no, they can all move anywhere they want. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, anywhere they go. But your spear support can't move anywhere. Of course. So. Uh, 
I get one free hero combat return, that's, that's fine. Uh, so this is this is a two on one, right, at the moment? Uh, currently three it's a one. three on one with the spear support. Oh, of course. Okay, so you're gonna go in here. Sure. That's two attacks. You are gonna pair this guy off. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, what is this guy? He's it's just defen regular, uh, defense. Defense, defense five. Defense five, no shield. No. Yeah. Are all your guys wissy wig, by the way, John? Yep. Fantastic. What a what a thoughtful opponent. Uh, Scully moved into this uh, mm -hmm. this elf. Uh, right God moved into this elf. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's the hero slayer. Uh, that's yep. fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's fine. And oh, yeah, it's fine. Make you call. It's fine. We'll, we'll live with it. This he's feels got, like he's got fate. This feels like another "this is fine" moment. And uh, Drumgot went into this. Dude, okay, so now it's on to your heroic combat, there, John. Take us yeah. through it. Now, obviously, Jacko's done a bit of a pair off here, so it's just a one-on-one -on -one now. Yeah, correct. Uh, so this is uh, take us through your shooty boy. What's he got? Just one attack and then one on the charge. So two regular attacks. Ooh. He's got, so two regular attacks, two wounds, one might left now. Um, and he's defense six. Yeah, correctly. So he'll have three attacks on the charge with Cav. Uh, Jacko, are you going to be striking normally or shielding? Shielding. Shielding for days. You got the higher fight. Do you want to set the tone for us, Johnny? For sure. And six high. It goes to John, and your guy will be knocked prone. So six strikes with strength three on defense five. Yes. Yeah, so needing fives. It should be a blast for you. There we go, look at that. Three sixes and a five. That's a a very That's dead. Use them all, use them all. Very That's dead. Uh, and now he will, of course, get to charge again. So where will he peel off to, good sir? Uh, he was supposed to say what we could Um, alright. No more heroic combat for you, sir. Cool. Alright, well, now we'll jump into the next heroic combat, which is now Zagar versus that same... Uh, that same Orc Zagar will only have a single attack because he no longer has his cavalry bonus. True. You will not have your cav bonus, so you've got two from your hero and then one from the wood elf on the ground. Correct. So he's um, got no might left. No might left, so you want to roll your dice three attacks. Um, do you have any might to differentiate? I do oh, have one with one might left. Okay, cool. So might is on the white dice. See if you get a six, Johnny. Wow, three Whoa, twos. Three twos. Well, that sort of balances out Jacko's roll before. Might even it if he beats it. Three. And he does on a three. Uh, uh, so now when do we decide re-rolls versus might spending? Uh, so re-rolls, ha might happens after... Ooh. Okay. So uh, Johnny is currently on a two high and you've rolled a three, Jacko. Uh, so obviously John's got one point of might, so you're opting to use a re-roll now because you have to decide to re-roll or not before he spends might. Yeah. Uh, and, and Pretty confident that he will spend the might. might. Yep. So before Johnny commits, Jack and Jackson is spending his third re-roll to take him down to two to try and no, beat... down to one. Oh, down to one, okay. Uh, he wants to get a four or higher. Just don't want him to die. Or at least a three. And five. he gets a five! Oh, Reroll nice. well spent. Very nice. Yep, nicely done. Uh, dried up there. Sort of side benefit is that he didn't have to you didn't have to waste your might, Johnny. Yeah. Um so you, uh, still around. Now who do you want to strike at? You've got one attack now because you've lost your cav bonus, oh, so you're not attack. knocking anyone prone. You've Correct. got defense three wood elf or defense five and six for the hero. Defense three wood elf. Alright, so strength four, you're looking at fours to wound. And oh that's not something. Ouch, that was tough. It was on the six and then the hill was like, nope. Just um, winning the fight is enough. Yes, that's true. He didn't die, which is a big one. So now we're into the normal turn. Yep. And it's yes. been so long, I can't remember who has priority. Me. Uh, uh, yeah. Good. We'll just believe you because I've got no idea. Uh, where do you want to go next, John? Mm. In terms of traps, I don't think anything actually matters. Wait, do you? I thought I had priority. Because I am moved. Oh, no, I called it right move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going <laughs> to do my whole this one first. Yeah. Yes. Uh, which one first, sorry? Over here? Uh, so we've got a single Moran and Orc fighting a charging Cav and a Sentinel. I'm um, gonna guess you're gonna shield Jacko. Um, oh yeah, because that one came from over there. He yeah. did, yeah, he uh, did the big yeah, move. Yeah, I'm gonna shield. All right, so two attacks versus three for Johnny. Oh, look, a Sentinel's got two attacks. Oh, brutal, of course they do. All right, set the tone, Mr. High Fight Bell. You see if you get the six. So Sentinel is on greens and Knight is on the... And no sixes. Jacko could snipe it. Two attacks shielding to keep himself alive. Oh, the six was nearly there. It's yours. Uh, and it goes to Sir John doubling up on those strikes because the orc is now prone. Uh, he is defense six, heavy armor, and a shield. So you're looking at sixes to wound from both models. Um, we'll do the cavalry guy first. Alright, four attacks. Three rolling ones. 
Oh, of course, yeah. poison weapons, man. Well, Hello, there's a one. Uh, the five won't do it either. Oof. Oh, no wounds there. Heavy armor doing the business. Two more attacks, which is now four from the sentinel. <laughs> Same thing. Sixes, re-rolling ones. There's the six. Whoa. We'll re-roll the ones. Re I'll just re-roll those two. Oh, yeah, of course. No, oh. didn't do anything. So they're one, only one, one wound. One. Yeah, Nearly survived. Okay. Heavy armor is okay. fairly solid. Like All it. right. Where do you want to go next, Johnny? We've um, got lots on offer here. There's one on one here, one on one here. There's a big mosh pit in the middle here with uh, the hero slayer fi facing down Jacko's big burly two-handed wielding and a black Numenorian and then some uh, some mess of elves in there as well. I think we're going to do this one here first because if I do this one ah, true. That one, Get rid of the trap. Trapped. Very oh. nice. Okay, I got two attacks as I charged. Yes, you do. And just yeah, the right. one for you? Two attacks because it's essential. Oh, well, they, they, I can never tell these Sentinel Wood Elf models apart. Uh, all right. Well, you got the high fight value. Fire away, Johnny. Uh, and it's a four and a one for John. And a four right. and a six. Oh, these wow. Are, all these aren't in the dead die. Yeah, they're going well yeah. for you, Jacko. Right, so you, the a Wood Elf Sentinel. Is, yes. that, uh, is now knocked prone, yes. and he's defense three, is that right? Yeah, so, sure. I, th I think so, so four dice with strength four looking for fours to wound. This is big. And there's one two fours. Yeah. Down he goes, down goes the sentinel. That's Ooh. one less Eldemar Madrigal. Um, do you want to do the, the now other elf who can't be trapped now, Drum? Yep, we'll do the other elf. Okay, so that is Drumgot's turn against, that's a really lovely elven sculpt. Uh, is that one of, the, one of the captain models? Or? Yeah, one of the captain Yeah, models. yeah, really nice. All right, so he's just got the one attack, because no Correct. shield. Correct. And you've got two attacks on the charge. Yes. Yep. Cool. Uh, higher fight value for Johnny gets only oh, a three. Six. Six, 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 another six. My God. Four attacks for for, uh, for Drumgut <laughs> on the charge. <laughs> Look at the excitement. Don't get too excited too early. Remember what happened last happened game? Last time, yeah. Uh, and he's cooked. Uh, strength 4, D5, a 1 5, but D5, it does so the business. Yep, Alright, now a fight that is a little has more he, a little more scary. That's, is that, that's on your dude, right? Yeah, that was on my guy. Okay. So that's, that. That drum that's God's, on Axe Man. I think. Is that Drum yeah, God's Axe first Man kill? Looks, yep, that's yeah, Axe Man got it. Um, I can do that. Oh, you good? Throw it down. Uh, where next, Johnny? Um, we will do. I think there's only I think there's these two and one, these two, two right? No, because that guy's now... Oh, right, they paired off. Yeah, yeah. Right. Ooh, yeah, okay. Yeah, this we is a bit, do... bit scary. We're going to do these two guys against this guy. Cool, so we've got a black Numenorian with a shield against a hand-and-a-half weapon-wielding elf who is supported by a spear. Any yep. special strikes from you, John? Mm. Oh, there's no point. We talk there's about no this. Point. Yeah, you two got... guys is not enough. Yeah, three yeah. why would you faint um, when you've got the re-rolls? I there's... will shield. Shielding? Cool. And I've got so no, you, I've got no might left in this combat. Like so. Oh, is that a hero? Is it? This guy. Yeah. Oh, of course, the guy at the back. Yeah, but no might. All right, so two dice at fight five and two dice at fight four, and it goes. There's the big six. Goes to the elves. Uh, so defense six, strength three. You're looking at sixes to wound the black Numenorian. Here we go. Come on. Oh, oh got one. It, it just flipped over yeah. at the end. So the Black Numenorians once again do absolutely nothing for Jacko. Uh, where next, Johnny? You've got two fights left. Uh, no, these guys. Oh, yeah, those guys. Yeah, because it's heroic combat. You yep, want to do that one first? Yep, let's do that one. Alright, so Scully, is he one handing or two handing? He's one handing and just fighting normally? Yeah, just fighting normally. Alright, so we've got one dice each. High fight with John, a big five, and a two. Right. Uh, and you are strength three, and that's his defense three, right? Defense four. Is that a. Oh, they, oh, oh, there you go. He's, so we can see his armor from this side. Yes. So five's to wound. Five's to wound. And nope, that six flashed for a second there. That's all right. no. uh, and then one last fight, which could be a bit of a turn leveler, I think, with this Hero Slayer ability. This is spicy. So you've just got... Is it just one attack because he hasn't charged? Just one regular attack and he's burly. Okay, cool. And you've got fight five. Oh, well, you're both burly, actually. So Jacko's got the extra attacks, but you've got the fight value. So two attacks for Jacko. Any might left on this guy before we fight? One. Okay, so one six will, uh, will help you out here, John. I, have, I still have might on both of these yeah, well, it, usually the mite's gone down a bit earlier, but you managed to use Zagars without him dying this time, which mm. is a difference from the last, like, two games. Uh, you got the higher fight, uh, Johnny, yep, you want to set the tone? Natural. You do? Fire away. <laughs> and... That's, that's yeah, that's big, big cock right in the tree. Oh, oh the one. Don't, don't roll snake one. eyes. Done. Double fives. Okay. Uh, you uh, haven't charged now. or anything, so... I... 
can roll a single die and on a four pass you're paralyzed, which will knock you off your horse. That's true. That's true. Or I have strength three against defense six. Uh, what's yeah, defense six. Defense six. six. So that's sixes to wound, which becomes fives with your plus one. Oh, two so oh, wait, you're sorry, burly. Wait, no, you're burly. You're always two handy. Oh right. So so you've got. And you got fate though, right? Yeah, I've got uh, one fate. One okay. fate. Uh, so let me check manacles. I think you can. I think you can roll fate against manacles. Yes, you can. On a four plus. Yep. Oh, no, no. Oh no, that's the yeah, that's the webs. Into a wound roll D6. On a four plus, the enemy man size or small model suffers the effects of paralyzed magical power. Okay, so you've got a 50-50 shot to paralyze him with one re-roll in the bank, or two dice to score a five, which might wound him. But of course, fate, right? but of course, he's got fate as well. Correct. So uh, we'll go for manacles. All right. So looking for looking for a four up to lock him up Let's in chains. Got one reroll. Oh, he needs it. Two I'm goes down. Re Spending the reroll. Re yeah, he, he's a big threat. Hero Slayer. Oh wait, could I just use a might for that? Oh no, I need to get to four. Yeah, yeah. yeah you could might it, but you need um, to you need to get to four because it counts as making yeah, strikes. Yeah, there you go. Nice. So he is manacled. He is instantly knocked off his horse. His horse so runs away. Do I take a hit? He, no, he's just paralyzed. Okay. So he, he suffers the effect of the paralyzed magical power, which is at the beginning of, or the, the end of every end phase, he attempts to roll a dice and on a six, he will uh, he will get back up. But for now, he just becomes a prone model who automatically loses fights. And because he's prone, that means he, or he actually does take a hit, John, because he was on horse. Whenever a model uh, counts as being made prone, it means they suffer the effects of knocked flying, which is one strength three hit. Sure. So you will have to take a strength three, so that'll wound him on a, on a six, right? Which does nothing. Oh, but it's poison. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, all your weapons are poison, even, <laughs> even when you uh, even when you land on your own horse. You, you oh uh, splash open the poison. Like, yeah, it spills all over you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, wow, what a turn for Mordor! Manacles. Manacle. We got manacles off for the first time. Two orcs, or two elves died, and one no, got I dismounted, or just I one. Two last turn. But oh no, but there's a, no, a sentinel as well, right? Sentinel. I got the sentinel, yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay. Anyway, big big turn regardless. Uh, let's jump into priority for turn. Is this only turn three? Shit, yeah, this happened it's fast. It's going we're quick. Right. Wow. I mean, going quick in turns. Maybe not. Oh, in there you go. Give that one a new one. And one. Any heroic moves from you, buddy? God damn. Uh, I'll call a heroic move with this guy. All right, so heroic move with the gorgeous captain model. Yep. Look, he's even yelling. You can he's see in his pose. He's like, boys, <laughs> this is fuck. Help <laughs> Um, all right, sick. Any counter call from you, Jacko? You've got might left I got two might left. on both of them, um, and three wags still in play. How are they not dead? Crikey. How indeed. Yeah. Uh, I will call one with drum. Dromgosh, so that will be able to catch everybody. Now, of course, John, that you've got priority, so... No, I lost Oh, no, you lost priority, so you don't have to roll the 50-50, finally. It's Jacko's turn. I rolls unfortunately. Yes, you are. A worthy spend, though, for those turns, I think, so... I want a 1, 2, or a 3. You sure do, and John's definitely not wanting that, so... Jeez, come on! It's a oh, two! Oh, <laughs> That's like five in a row to Jacko. Oh, Sauron bless. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Rough. Okay, All right. Let's go. Let's Here roll. come the cavalry. Um, in go Wags. So, Drum God has to move first. Has to move first. He's yep. going to move right here. Okay. Charging Fine. the same hero. Mm -hmm. oh, wait, that's a hero? Yeah. It oh, is? What's his stats now? So, he's out of might now, right? He's oh, out he's... of might. He's defense six. Um, no might. All oh, right, that's a guy. That's the manacled guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going for it. <laughs> Yeah, boy. All right, and then let's just move on and manacle someone else. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> Jackson's got like manacle fever now. He's like, this worked once. It's now my winning strategy. It is. Yeah. All right. Who's next? We'll tie up both of these models. Yeah, with Scully. Scully, Scully yeah. going in for the the suicidal charge. Um, uh, we'll go for the. We'll go. Uh, you go like this. We'll go you and you. Wrap into both. Oh well, yeah, before Scully. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think, think they can, do can both make. It. You can only do one. Why? Why can't he get through? Can I? Oh, what I'm thinking is you, you can get through that gap. Why? Why can't he but get? Isn't this guy's control zone stopping him from moving? Doesn't matter. Once he's entered the first model's control zone, he can charge any more oh, additional okay. models that he wants. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well. Oh yeah. He's if, if you want to do that, you don't have to. Yeah, I want to tie up all the infantry so that I can. Oh, yeah. Why do I want to do that? Swing around freely, I suppose. Um, oh, I know. Okay, so then. 
you are gonna go through here and get this dude. The can oh, can you do that? Yeah. Yeah. They're all their control zones are negated. Oh, so. I'm thinking like physically. Can oh, physically in terms of space. Uh, like I mean, I can push it through, but no. what does that mean? I, I, if if do the models move? If you, well, not without doing that, but if they move. Oh, uh, he sort of moved. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, I see, the guy on the right moves. So yeah, too too small for him to get through there. Okay. So um, but I mean, you've got the movement to just run around once you've moved that log, so it probably won't matter. Wait, do I? Oh, okay, sure. Uh, I want my cavalry bonuses though, but I, I don't think I'll get it. Uh, this is Hero Slayer. Is it? No, no this is Hero Slayer. The, the guy you manacled is, is Hero Slayer. Right, 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 right. Uh, We've just remembered that, of course, yeah. John gets a chance to try and get out of the manacles at the end of last turn. So before Jacko keeps moving, on a six, he breaks his manacles. Uh, they're quality manacles for now. Uh, he's, he's working on the bonds, but they're not broken yet. Uh, it's All right. worth noting that if you can get other models into base contact with him and they're, at their, they're at the end of the turn, you get to roll extra dice for each model. Oh, that's, that's handy. Still need, you still need a six. Still sure. need six. All right. I'm just going to tie them all up so that they don't... Yeah, they so that there's no chance. Yes. All right. So in goes the wag. Uh, we'll go... I guess I have to fight this dude to stop the cavalry. And yep. then... Yeah, that's fine. Sure. So he's got that. Mm -hmm. He's got that. Mm -hmm. And then this guy's gonna go here. So yeah. throwing, throwing spear, spear from Zagar. Needing fives to hit because he's on the way in. No. Gets a big miss. <laughs> it's just a threat. It's just threat of throwing spears. Yeah, it's the psychological damage when you do Worry get a kill. throwing spears. <laughs> yeah. You know mm -hmm. what, I am just going to tie them both up. Tying them both up? Yeah, sure. because I don't want you to have freedom. Sounds and good. You oh god, freedom. I forgot there was even one guy no up here. Freedom! And you... freedom! <laughs> I guess we'll just pair them off. Pairing sure. off. Alright, any models left for Johnny to move? No. <laughs> Alright, uh, that takes us straight to combat. Any yeah, heroic actions? Move. He's just going to stay there. Uh, who? Who? This guy <laughs> that we've all away. forgotten about. He's not gonna what, a, what a surprise. If, we, if he isn't the dude and it's a big double bluff, <laughs> it will be hilarious. Um, we'll never know. Jacko, uh, any heroic actions from you? Uh, no, sorry, John uh, first, you've got priority. Um, well, he's got priority, so you no, check. Jacko's got, yeah. Um, I call her a combat. Well, yeah, but the, the person who doesn't have priority calls oh, first. Right, of course. Yeah. Yeah, call her a combat with the archer on here. With the archer, and one from you, Jacko? Yeah. Yep. Um, Drongo. Alright, so you get to do the roll off to see who's goes first. They've been all Mordor so far. Look at the Mordor dice. Here goes the 50 50. Oh, it's that's cocked and it was going to be a 5 2. Flip it over. Oh, that's hey, so Lord. cruel. Oh. <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> All right, so Dromgot versus one elf who is manacled and automatically loses the fight because he's paralyzed. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, four, attacks. Two, four attacks on the charge because he's prone and your defense six. six. So strength three, you're looking for sixes on four dice with one point of might. And there's a natural six. Uh, you've uh, got a fate point. How many wounds have you got? Just one. So, oh, he, okay. he'll, so can I wait to spend the might? He certainly or? can. So Johnny has to take the fate point first. <laughs> And he passes, and then uh, Jackson will have to spend his last fate point. Uh, sorry, last might point oh, yeah, of course, to finish him I off. Go into another combat. Right? Exactly. Yeah, so I'll finish that. Yeah. And there's two wounds, which takes Dromgot up to three, oh, which man. I think might be his best performance ever. Oh, it's God. any model's best performance <laughs> ever. <obviously. laughs> yeah. And then uh, this is coming up all Mordor, Johnny. The, just, the dice have just betrayed they you. Just do not like this. Yeah. In, uh, charging you know? in on the wood elf. Oh, oh yeah. This guy is a hero. What's his What's the stat line? He's got a wood elf spear, so he'll be able to shield. Okay. Um, Cause magic. Against three. Mm -hmm. okay. yep. <laughs> <So> <laughs> let's go. If he doesn't win the fight, he will die. <laughs> John gets like, um, yes, please. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Let's do that. Uh, alrighty. So my heroic yeah, combat. Heroic combat. Yeah. Heroic combat. Uh, so it's just the one on one now, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. Scully versus your big three attack. Oh no, Jacko charge. So. The, just do the two hands. Oh, sorry, yeah. Gordog, That's Gordog. So you've just you've got two attacks because you were charged. Correct. Yeah. Um, and he's got two attacks base. So just one attack for you, Jacko. Yeah, I'm, go, not, I'm not going to two hands. Okay, fighting go, normally. Go. Big four. Two dice. Just needing a four to equal it. Now he gets the six. Thank you, Mal. Uh He's not prone, so you're just striking as normally. He's defense four, though, so it's fives to wound. Do you charge so I don't get the knockdown? No, you don't get knocked cool, down. Cool. Yep. Looking for fours to wound, no fives to wound, what am I saying? Uh, one five is enough, down he goes, and your heroic combat goes off. Where would you like to charge, sir? 
Hey. This guy's actually doing like better in combat than he normally yeah, does shooting. It's freaking ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So, how much defense does this guy have? D6. He's upgraded to heavy D6, armor, yeah. and he has a shield, even though it's not represented on the model. Okay. <laughs> but of course, if, if he I ele- choose to use my two-handed weapon, I don't get the shield. Yes. Yeah, so if, he's D5 in combat if he wants to use the two-handed, because he is burly, which he often does. Otherwise, he can fight one-handed to keep the D6 from the shield. You've got. He's attacking that one guy there. Uh, so far, yeah. So he he is. Attacking It'd be paired him. off into one by ones anyway. Attacking him. Mm. He's attacking him. He's attacking him. It's so. all one by ones at the moment. So anywhere yeah, so. you put your model, you're going to be stacking bonuses. Need to charge. Minimum. Yep. Get those bonuses. So you pretty much got two options because you can only get your base into two: either the Scully or um, yeah, or Rot Gob. Um, any fate. On these guys, Rock Gob's uh, got one. He hasn't spent one his fate, yet. One fate. I don't think you've rolled any fate, Jacko. Oh, I, no, I did roll no, fate. no. He's got no fate well, in one yeah, wound. He's, he's nothing. Yeah. So he's the softer. He's, he's the, on the verge. Rock, and then yeah. he passed his fate roll when I seven stacked him before. <laughs> no, that was that was him. You wasn't seven it? stacked him. That was him. Yeah. Oh, was it him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the, he's the only one who spent fate. Okay. Yeah, I miraculously won a fight with him. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's got fate as well? Yes. He's got fate, yeah. So yeah, just just uh, Jackson's so leader with the pretty flowers on the base. If I get rid of that guy, you lose a courage bonus. Very true. Which lets me hold my magic on. And thinking for the break as well, longer term. So off we go. Not to mention, uh, the, the Sentinel's got like two attacks base, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? So you're so, probably going to win that fight. Yeah. Alright, um, so now we just find as normal as per priority. I'm doing it my cavalry bonus now. Correct. Who, who had priority? I can't remember again. It was you, yeah. You get to choose, sir. Uh, where would I like to go? Uh, let's just leave that. <laughs> it's a bit sad, yeah. <laughs> we'll do... This... Just the two cavalry guys. That... Yeah, everyone will be able to make way, so it doesn't really matter. The, this, the two cavalry, so... 1v1. One one. One. So one attack each, and uh, Johnny's got the fight value. Pretty simple. Big one, Strong big one. five, yep. goes to you. Uh, he is D4 on the wild or D5 on the rider, so you're looking at, uh, it's fives either way, uh, with uh, with your elven strength three. Straight on the, the rider. Straight on the rider, try and get rid of those break points. No Good. wound, uh, back him up. Nay, I mean. Okay. Um, Let's do drum god against oh, your oh, spear yeah. hero. Moving along, so shielding with your spears, Johnny. Shielding. Sure. Uh, two attacks and then. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're trapped. Oh, he is so trapped. Should you should you do should that. do that fight oh, yeah, first. Sure, Good sure. call. Uh, what uh, what is this guy again? Just a regular Galadriel with a hand of Defense. See, uh, five. Five. And I got two-handed weapon. Early. So your strength three. So you're already wounding on fives. Mm-hmm. So no point in piercing striking. Um, I got two attacks. And you just got the one, John. You can't. It's the wood elf spears that enable you to Correct. shield, isn't it? Not the blades. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna attack. Fight okay. normally with Burley. So oh. one attack with the high fight value with John. He's on a six. He takes yeah, it. Uh, can't do anything about that for Jacko, and he beats him back, needing a five, needing a six to wound him. What with is it? Come on. Fives actually. No. Uh, because of course he two-handed, so his shield bonus wasn't in effect. But he didn't get a five. He got a two. Uh, where next, Jacko? Uh, okay, let's go back to that combat. So, drum god again. Okay, right. you go. 1v1, me bro. Two attacks on the charge, Shield. getting five high. Shielding, getting five high. Getting the five fight value takes it, and you're out of might, aren't you, Jacko? Uh, drum god? He, he's the one who called the heroic move this time. Yeah. Well, no, yes, he called the heroic yeah, move. Yep. Yeah. yep, so. so I that's have a, one light left on. Um, uh, a tied fight, which uh, Johnny wins and then pushes drum god back. A bit better, the elves are holding the line now. Let's do Scully versus the. Yep. 1v1. One attack, high fight value with the L's. Five and one. Oh, right. uh, oh, I should have said I was not. Obviously. True-handed. Yeah, you have to declare the normal is, is thingo. Now he is defense four, so you're going to need fives to wound him, Jacko. There's a wound. Oh. Has he got a fate point? Scully. Yeah, I'm not going to use it though, because I prefer to keep it for the last. Oh, because he's got two wounds, yeah, doesn't he? Oh, right. Yep, cool. It's a bit more cinematic when you yeah, use it for the last one. All right. So, uh, just cheesing a wound straight away, down to one wound for the Elven Gal- uh, Heldir model. What's his name again? Uh, he is Norwin. Norwin. There we go. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, we've, got, we've got one, oh. one, one, one <laughs> fight left. Uh, he does not have a shield. With, He's just a dude with a spear and heavy armor. Yeah, is this, this isn't poker. This is, this is poker. Oh, this is poker. Okay. And I have a regular guy with a sword. Cool. All right. So, once again, one attack. High fight value with the elves. 
two, two and a one. The strong two gets it. Uh, needing fives to wound because only D5. Heavy armor, but no shield. Oh, oh gets him. A bit of a swing back to the elves. Uh, let's have a look. Ooh, we've got five dead five now. Many of these elves against the world. Yeah, yeah. Oh these, these three guys are the only ones doing anything. Uh, all right, let's have a look here. Uh, that's our last bite for the turn. So, Zagar on the charge is now just down to a single attack because his cav bonus has been negated. You've got two attacks from the Sentinel and one attack base with your Archer Hero, or two attacks two base? Two attacks base. So, yeah. four attacks on one attack. Zagar, we got his might points out, but this might be his final showing for the scenario. It's going to be big. It does. Uh, okay, so, so, green dice are going to be the Sentinel, white dice cool. are going to be Agnes. All right, so, looking for sixes to tie it up. Only four high. And a two, bad luck there. You've got no rerolls, do you, Jacko? No. All out, so it goes to you. You aren't trapped though, so you can back away and no cav bonuses. Any particular strikes? It's looking at uh, you're all strength three, so it's fives to wound Warg or Warg Rider. Um, he doesn't have heavy armor. Did you give Zagar heavy armor? Yeah, he's got heavy armor. Yeah, so sorry, it's sixes on the on the Warg Rider. Um, sixes on the Rider? Yes. So what, what is he, strength two? No, strength three. Strength three on defense six is sixes to wound. I don't have a shield. He, or he comes with a shield. He's a wild. Like, oh, he's oh, not a wild rider. He's, he's, not a wild rider. he's a, a wild rider. Right. He should absolutely have a shield, Jackson. Well, I'm getting there. Buy, <laughs> buy one stat. Okay, so it is five to wound. It is five to wound. Uh, I guess I'm going to see. I'm going to get the Sentinels to attack the wall. Okay, cool. So Sentinels attacks. Needing fours or fives oh, or whatever they'll do. All right. Throne rider for you. That's one D6. And he's fine. he's fine. We'll swap his model in in a sec. Do you want to try and wound uh, Zagar himself? One wound, one fate. So two fives will guarantee it. And two oh, sixes oh, will okay. double guarantee it. Uh, I just won't roll fate. Oh, <laughs> savage. I'm going to take every advantage of Oh, is that the way we're playing, Jackson? Hey, I'm at the bottom of the ladder. No, I, mm, wow. <laughs> you won't see any more gentlemanly play like we had earlier in the day from Shark if you're going to be like that. Okay, so Zagar has fallen. Uh, a, a victorious wound to both parties there. The uh, elf killing the wag and the bowman killing a Zagar himself. Uh, and now let's have a look at how we've got this fight here. We've got one, two, three, four. Break. Only four models five. left. Oh, of course, five. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what's your total model count, John? Twelve. Uh, Twelve. So I need to have five models left. Okay, cool. So you've... I'm at the point where I will break, aren't I? Uh, so okay. you've got six dead and six on the field, right? Or five on the field. Oh. No, no, shouldn't you have 12 models? Didn't you say you had 12? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six have died. One, two, three, three four, four five. five. I swear you were supposed to play with 12 models. Mm, there's three inches. So we've worked out that Jacko is now in fact broken, which will he'll test for break at the start of next turn, but let's jump into, oh, first of all, the end phase, Johnny. You've got to see oh, if, uh, oh no, he's no, dead. Yeah. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he's long gone. Uh, all right, priority for the next turn, boys. He's looking from the heavens going, oh, uh, what have gone this time? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, um, Rolling up, one dice each. Let's see who takes the initiative this turn. Big three for Mordor. And a one! That's, 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 that's good, that that's, is good. That, that's not good, you're gonna run away now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, well, one Ed, would you like to take a heroic move, John, or should we just let the orcs flee? Originally, my point is gone because... Oh, true. I lost them all on draw. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. Let's jump into your first move. You got any heroes left? You got I've two, got two to call stand fast. So we're gonna go stand fast. So who, who did you try to immobilize at the start of the game? I burned his will. Didn't Correct. I? Yes. Yeah, so, um, so he's he's still good to Rock go. Dog's gonna take it. Yep. So uh, he's only courage two now because of course Zagar is dead. So you need eight on two dice. Putting away the mortal dice, <laughs> grabbing the army of the dead dice. Will they betray you? Oh, come on! They seven. do! A Play seven. A oh, yes, yeah, spending oh, a will yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so stand fast is called, and that's gonna get everyone, everyone here. Oh. But of course, you've got this guy over oh, here. No. Oh, I mean, that dude who's not important. <laughs> no! <laughs> Giving it away now, I think, Jacko. I think it's good. I think it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't win to see this. Oh, if, this, if he flees, this is gonna be awful. It's gonna be very disappointing. Oh. We're gonna get an eight. Uh. Yes. Oh, he's still oh, in the game! Yeah. Alright, let's go! <laughs> Alright, so I just had a quarter, quarter drawn this turn, and yes. it should be fine. Yeah, easy done. Alright, uh, your, your priority, Jacko, so jump on in. in. Alright, yep. so, yeah, so I... Okay, cool. Everybody's good. Everybody's good. That might be the first turn you've, like, not gotten completely screwed by Courage, ever. Yep. Like, usually you lose a couple. 
All right, well, you've got to tie him up and die. Tie up the cav. Uh, and yeah, he's just going to die if he does that. This well, kind of stopping the charge. That's Scully's job, right? He's Scully the unkillable he almost. Just gets in the way. That's his title. He almost is unkillable every game. Uh, now he's going to have to charge the cavalry. Mm -hmm. Just because he can't go anywhere else. <laughs> Test so many elves. <laughs> um, he's going to charge these two. Sure. Are you asking me or saying sure? <laughs> no, I'm just saying sure. Sure. Okay, good. And oh, a bit of sassy I'm banter. I'm confirming your move. <laughs> Thank you. Drongo. Oh, not Drongo. Uh, Rodgob. Rodgob. Yep. It's gonna. Uh, not Can't get the two of them. Ah, oh, cheeky, cheeky. Sneaky elves. Uh, well, mm. if that's the case, I'm just gonna. <laughs> uh, get trapped there. I think everywhere you go, you'll get trapped. Oh, right. Mm. Uh, well, the sentinel can come and find me. Yeah, I guess so. If I tie you up, then the sentinel has to walk to there. Oh, but this person can, this person can go here first and then go around. And everywhere, if you engage those two, everywhere you go, you get trapped. Maybe I should go this way instead. Go around the back. Yeah, maybe I should just make a bit of space and then go... Oh, but we've discussed that he... Well, okay. that, he hasn't moved yet, right? So he was there, so he can go. Yeah, wrap, wrap in. Yeah, there. he just has to finish with them both because he entered the sure. other guy's control zone first. Yeah, <clears throat> sure. But <laughs> sure, 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 sure. He's prone, right? He yeah. is prone. Yeah. Yeah. Just, can't just, shoot just, him. Just, you oh, can't shoot. Him. I mean, he's gonna stand up. <laughs> just have a little bit right. Right, yeah, so I was just being like Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, I, no, no, I couldn't. No. I'm just, just Don't gonna, stand him up. He's gonna get I'm not shot. Stand up. You fool. Alright, you got one model left. No, that's everybody. So you've got two models left, Johnny, and you're not broken, are you? No. no. So you need two more models to die before you break? Yeah, two more. Yeah, okay. Correct. Correct. A little while away. Uh, let's put our, our little house roof back on while Johnny decides. And what are you doing? Uh okay. Three models. Three models to charge. If only the Eldemar Magical had longer range, you could have compelled him out of the house. <laughs> I know, uh, and it didn't require one. So. Um, okay, we're going to move this one over here. Oh, bad day for Scully. Scully, they're probably going to die a bull. Um, and then we're going to... Bro. All right, so getting the trap on Dromgot doesn't look like that uh, heroic combat will be going off this turn. I mean, it could knock you all prone and put a strike on each. He's only got two attacks, so that's not happening. Uh, okay, who's got priority? You do, right, Jacko? I do. So uh, we're into the combat phase, and it's important how you break these down. You could have a one-on-two or a one-on-one -on -one and a three-on-one, and then you've got one-on-ones and two-on-ones. Where do you want to start? Obviously, any heroic actions. So well, you, if I fight here and I win, I can push him away and then allow him to get out. Maybe. Well, he, he if you want to call the heroic combat, he'll have oh, to go first. first. But he's not going to kill them both, so it's, I don't. He I could won't. he could kill two, but it's it is unlikely. It's unlikely. Um, I don't think that's. I'd rather not risk him getting trapped. True, very true. Chance at winning the fight. So opting not to call the heroic combat and then calling this one first. Fighting that one first against okay. those two. I could call it. No, I wouldn't do that. Uh, he's got he's got one wound and one fate. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, because yeah, he hasn't been wounded at all. Has he's he just a dude. He's just a dude. Okay. The dude abides. Yeah. All right. Let's do this combat first. All right. So two attacks from Zagar with his burly two-hander. Rockob. Oh, Rockob. So sorry, Zagar. RIP. If he shields, can he still attack? No. If someone shields, they all have to shield. So obviously, because the other model sure. can't shield. Yep. Uh, you won't be able to shield with either. So fighting normally for you? Yep, fighting normally. Alright, so just uh, not two-handing? Yeah, just not going to... I'm going to... Not two-handing. Okay, so... so... If I win the fight, you back away, and then I can choose to use manacles and... Correct. Paralyze them. Yes, so they back away first. Yeah. Okay, so opting to take the higher defense and then yeah. playing the manacle card later so game. So two dice, Jacko, set the tone for us. And you're on fives, five. and Johnny's got two dice with the higher fight value, equaling a five, and he'll get it. He gets it on a six. Sure. And Zagar is pushing back. Uh, sorry, Rockdog is pushed oh, back. And of course, 
Now this is going to be a trap, which is very important. So, uh, defense six, because he used his uh, one-handing axe, yep. and now you're looking at sixes to wound him on two dice, with one wound and one fate still intact. And poison weapons! And no wounds! Uh, so, all good. All right, uh, where do you want to go next, Jackson? Let's go... Let's just do this. Sure. Alright, so you charge, so you've still got your cav bonus, yeah, yeah. so two attacks, and you've got two attacks, uh, but if you win, he's going to be trapped, and if you win, they're going to be prone, so something's going to happen this turn, no matter which way it goes. Good. Mordor, I take it away. Might left. Yeah. No, nothing. Oh, but he's outnumbered. He oh, plus one yeah. fight and, and plus, plus one, one attack. attack. Very oh. true, so he'll go I to mean, three attacks. Three attacks. Fight doesn't mean anything. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, no, not against these fight a billion elves. All right, looking that's at three high, one. that's very bad. <laughs> and now it's now Elven they're... time, and oh, 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 almost worse, almost worse. All right, the elves get it, and he is trapped for days. He's on one wound and one, no fate, no fate. so any any strikes here and he's dead. You're looking for fives, because he that's has... Does he have a shield on defense six? So sixes. Sixes to wound. All right, this elf is going to strike the warg. Mm-hmm. So I'm sick of the mats. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Needing fives to wound on the warg. Gets in with a six. Keep rolling the sixes on the wards. <laughs> throne rider. Throne rider for Jacko. Uh, Do you want a throne rider this guy? And he's fine. fine. And now two attacks on him. So you're looking for sixes to wound the big boy himself. There he gets it. Just Down he goes. Right. Nice work on milking the wounds there. Very lovely. Yeah, well, Jackie doesn't want to any other <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah you got to do it the hard way with bloody wankers like this. Okay, so we've got two combats left with four models on the field. Uh, jumping into the one-on-one cav, Jacko. Yeah. All right. Strong elf. All right, 1v1, fight value with the elves. A big six, and that's a cock die. And another one, all right. <laughs> Goes to you, Jacko. Sixes. Yeah, uh, so... Sixes on the elf, fives on the horse. I'll just go for the elf. No. No luck? <laughs> Back he goes. <laughs> bye bye, beautiful elf. All right, the last fight of the turn, which is gonna be tough for Scully, I think. Scully's gonna stab. Scully stabbing! <laughs> oh! Well, well, well. All right, roll it up, Mr. Big Fight Value Boy. Oh, that's a lot of dice. Six high, he gets it. Yep. Alright, stabbing right. damage. Uh, no, he, fight. he fights me first, then you stab. Yeah, true. Jump in. But... I think, I, I think he's nice. gonna die. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put the experience on my hero killer right here. Cool, very uh, nice. Hero killer, well, the archer will be on me. Yep. Um, the slicer attacks. and dicer. Looking for fives, because there's not much going on on, on Scully. Uh, yeah, he, he's, yeah. Uh, he's, he's cook, cookerinoed. Down he goes. Uh, Okie dokie, that is uh, nothing else quartered? happening this turn. I think you might be. Eight out of 12. So, did you start with 11? You started with 11. You screwed me over. That's true, so um, I'm going to need a calculator to work that one out. <laughs> well, Hang on a sec. Than... Okay, so Jacko is not courted. We've just worked, so the game will continue. Uh, let's jump into priority, boys. Uh, do you have anyone manacled, John? You don't? Never mind, no, they're dead. I did that last turn as well. I mean, All right. Was, but... One dice, one dice. And a big five. Oh, John takes it. So Jackson, he's still gonna have to take courage tests for his little dude yeah, over here, regardless. Nice. Actually, so it's it's where yeah, to go? fairly where redundant. That's where the game is won. Oh, oh my! Okay. <laughs> where are you going, John? Here come the police. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this game is not lasting past this turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Oh wait, 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 wait! I could call her a combat. I her a move before those guys go. Oh, oh have you got might left, do you? Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, who who on? You're only going to be able to stop. Yeah, I know, but um, you won't stop. Technically, what you could do is... Oh, but then you can just... You have to test code you can first. shield with someone. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Then I have to test. No, I just go. Just go. It's fine. I think. <laughs> Make a choice, boy. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just see what happens. I just have to... Basically... No, I'm not going to say. <laughs> why, why are you outlining your tactics? Okay, Johnny, okay. take it away. So these two have bailed. Yep. These guys. Um, okay, so this guy is going to jump into a combat one v one, me bro. This guy is going to dismount. Ooh. See how many 
is going to charge in. The horse is the messenger. You lose. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Losing the cav bonus. Losing the cav bonus, but he has a shield. So ah, so he can shield on foot. Basically, what I want to see is if... Well, I'm going to make sure I kill everybody, but... Um, okay. If it's actually him, then I need enough time to actually get over there. Yep, yeah, yeah. True, 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 true. John playing the long game now. Um, considering there's only one warrior left on this side, it would have to be that Wag Rider if it was anyone else. Mm, that's true. And then... Well, it's going to come all down to these courage rolls. <laughs> How funny would it be if it was the Wag Rider? Yeah, it would be good. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Oh, dear. Uh, oh. oh, it's trapping time. Baby men, baby men. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, I mean... At Let the end of the day, I don't have to kill the wall. I mean, kill the rider, I just have to kill the wall. So I can Milk kill, those points. I can kill the wall first, deal with him. Mm. Very nice. Alright, well, uh, Sir Jackson, you have got a courage check to make at the beginning of your move for this lonely orc. This is a big roll on 2d6. Back to the army of the dead, so you need eight. Oh. Eight on two <laughs> dice. Look at the tension. I'm tense. I, I can't handle it. Let's see how we go. <laughs> Just roll it. Oh, oh yes. when that three came up, six I was like, uh oh. He's Gets a six. Don't a... doubt the army of the dead. Oh man. Alright, it's combat. Alright, we're still we're still playing. Let's go. Um, Let's go. Where do you want to start? Priority? Who was that? I can't even remember. Uh, uh, you had it. John, had yeah. It. All right, where do you want to go, Johnny? Go this guy. Cool. On the wag, who's going to be trapped. Yep. Uh, you've got one attack. I choose to stab. <laughs> <laughs> All yes. right. Uh, what, one one dice just, for you, Jacko. Just fucking forcing everything End it. Me. End it. <laughs> <laughs> End it now. Get to two. Oh, look, I lost the fight. That's terrible. <laughs> Johnny, all yours. What a dick. <laughs> Come on, roll the dice, John. <laughs> oh, God. Do I just kill him? Oh, no, I'm trapped. But you're going to win the fight first. Yeah, it's true. So roll those. Win the fight. Okay. Oh, no, I'm, I'm trapped. trapped. You can win the, win the fight. Uh, it's just three regular dice. because It is. Dudes. Yep. Um, we'll do... This guy with a normal sword, mm -hmm. and these two with two handers. Two handers. Mm -hmm. So a minus one on the white. Yep. And you've got it. Yep. So you're winning a plus one. So you're looking at fives on the wag or fives on the rider. Strength four, a uh, strength three on d4 and d5. God damn it! I don't know which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know which warrior. Is it the wag double bluff? Wait, is Spark a hero? No, 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 no. no that would be Jackson's be double bluff. Who's like secretly a hero? Oh, I didn't tell you that he's actually a hero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not even Jackson is, is that desperate. Um, all right. Well, I mean, uh, let's 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 roll the dice. Uh, so, uh, who do you want? Who do you want to wound, Johnny? So the game automatically ends. At no, the end, at, at own, well, if he if he's saying if he kills the the wag rider, it will quarter you. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so that would end the game. And then, depending on which model is the messenger, if he hasn't died already, uh, <laughs> mind games. Oh, the God. mind games. Either there, yeah, like I said, I, I yeah. <laughs> I don't think I got your excellent Vulcan mind meld on on camera. Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, I'm going to hope that. There's not much he can do right now, though. Right? Well, what he could do is elect to put all the strikes on the wag. Oh, yeah, I can put all the strikes on the wag and hope and that he low. To yeah, yeah to, and, and hope that he <laughs> fails you, another code. Is like... <laughs> <laughs> exactly! <laughs> but wait, no. If you, if you stab your own orc, it still counts as dying. Right? It does, yeah. But Jacko still, oh, has, yeah. Jacko still has to roll a 5 for the orc to die. If, if that's what he wants. Big double bluff. <laughs> It's a strength two actually, so it'll be sixes on because he's got a shield so and it's armor. Very, it's very low. It's low chance that he's going to kill himself. It is. Or maybe he uh, bluffed it because he knew it was low chance to try and bait you into. What did I do, John? I don't know. I've lost myself now with that. All right, John, roll right. some dice. Okay, what are you doing? I'm going to attack the warg. Everything on the warg, needing on the warg. fives to wound. Whites, uh, plus ones. And uh, whoa, Ooh. Jesus Christ, the wag's dead. Okay, stab. 
Stabbing damage on the rider. Needing a six. And that's a one. So no luck there. And a strength three hit for falling down. Uh, yes, and, oh, yes. and uh, oh, no, you, no, you, you got to do throne rider. rider, yes. So if you're going to take that one now. And there's a three. There you go, he's fine. So chuck down a prone model. Uh, and then we've got one fight left for the turn, which is a one-on-one on, one on Rotgob. Uh, so Rotgob has his two-handed burly axe or a shield. Um, I mean, he also has a hand weapon, if that matters to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, single uh, stabbing, two attacks two for attacks Rotgob. Yeah. Alright. Just shielding. Shielding. Oh, so you're not even gonna kill me. No, so fives. Come on. Fives. Alright, well I guess I'll just kill you then. <laughs> And three, oh, so Jacko loses, Stab. and now the stabbing damage, one strength, two hit, needing sixes. Oh, that's cocked! <laughs> the five Can I have use done a might on a stab ball against my uh, stab? I don't do think so, because it's not a strike. It's not a strike, yeah. That'd be funny. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> uh, well, I'm just not gonna roll a fate. <laughs> oh, you cheeky oh, bastard. Oh, whatever. It's dead. <laughs> He's not gonna roll away. Oh, you cheeky son of a bitch! Um, okay, so Rockgob is dead. I guess the game's over. And Jackson that. is now caught. Uh, and, uh, John, would you like to reveal your messenger? My messenger's dead. Uh, who was oh it? Oh my god. Who was it? Who was it? It was a sentinel. And who it's is definitely. who is your messenger, Jackson? Spark. Spark! Jackson has won his first game! Oh my god, bad <laughs> game. <laughs> Well, it took like s- seven games. And and a lot of underhanded tactics. <laughs> yeah, I stabbed myself. Mind games. Oh, man. Not rolling fate to kill your own heroes to get them off yeah. the board. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, shake hands, gentlemen. I know it's going to be a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> let's oh, let's yeah. jump into the post game after yeah, Jackson's man. first victory. Okay. I won. Yes. I get- you got like a billion. Yeah. We'll do that in a sec. Let's do your injuries. All right, take us away, Jacko. Uh, all right, well, we're just going to do them in the order that they died, so it'll be a mix of heroes and warriors. Okie dokie. Uh, that's Poker. All right, 2d6. He's just a warrior. He's, He's fine. fine. Black Numenorian. Black Numenorian number two. He's, He's fine. also fine. Uh, Karnok. He's fine. Loving it. Uh, Slit Throat. He's fine. Uh, War Dog. He's fine. Um, okay, now we're into heroes. So this is Zagar. Uh, Zagar, yep. He's five. five. Leg wound. Oh, he's a, he's fine. Is that his second leg oh, wound? He oh, he healed it. Oh game. my god, that was lucky. Okay, he's back on a leg wound. Drum god. He's obviously got like a bit of a clicky <laughs> knee. Maybe it swells up with the weather. Yep. Drum god, dead slayer. Uh, he's, he's fine. Recovery. Nice. Doesn't mean anything. Yep. Uh, Scully is uh, injured. injured. Oh. I almost made it without Almost getting a full company. And, um, Rod Gob is fine. Fine. Six, actually, he's a, yeah, full recovery. Seven, yeah, full recovery. Oh, seven, yeah. So, yeah, perfect. All right, so just the one soft injury, not too bad for Jacko's forces this turn. Okay, Johnny, time for your injuries, Johnny, my friend. What have we got over here? There's uh, not too many elves dying this time. Was it five that jo- Jacko took down or four? It was just four. Four, just that's four. right. He got a fate point in a horse as yeah, well. Yeah. So, uh, where do you want to start? Um, let's do the troops first, and then we'll finish off with the hero. Uh, sounds good. Um, so, just my regular generic Wood Elf Warrior with a sword. He's fine. He's good. Sentinel. Oof, Thanks. that too scared me, but he's good. Cavalry. It's just normal Galadrim Knight. Ten, lovely. One big hero upgrade. Hero. And a six. An eight. Full recovery. Nice and easy. Nothing too scary. Let's check out how all the kills unfolded <laughs> and see who got experience. So I have five people to do advancements on. Um, three heroes and two warriors. Definitely a new experience for you. It is a new experience. So two Moranans first. Now obviously they're at the top of their advancement tree, so they can only be turned into heroes by rolling a six. We've got our uh, Army of the Dead guys now, which only rolls sixes. That's true. That's very true. Uh, All right, well, let's see how we go. It's not cheating because that's why. (laughs) Fire away. (laughs) Oh, Oh, big five. I use a my point. (laughs) Use an influence point. You wish. Use a re-roll. You wish. Uh, And the second one. Oh, oh, two fives. That's um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't have a, a promotion. No, they don't. They, they don't. I'm it's, check. it's okay, Lockie. I've still got more to do. 
No, Moran and Orcs are up at the top of the tree. All right, uh, you've got two heroes left. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this mortal page because we'll need it when Jacko spends all his influence. And we'll come back. Now, these guys are both on Path of the Warrior? Well, yeah, two Path of the Warrior, one Path of General. Oh, you've got three. All right, where do you want to start? Zagar on General? Let's just do order, in order of Okay, cool. So... So no, oh, oh left, rank. right. Well, we, oh, oh, leader first. I get it, I get it. Alright, Path of the Warrior, 2d6. Uh, we're looking at 8, eight. which is strength or defense. Ooh, I want... Ooh. It's a tough choice. He's already two wounds, one fate. I can make him even harder to kill. Yeah, because that would take him up to d7, because he's got heavy armor and a shield. This, the thing is, because he's on the Warg, you kind of already got strength oh, 4. I do have strength 4. From the Warg. Yeah, yeah. So there's sort of no point modifying that because you can only modify his stat line. I'd oh, make him defense true. seven. Yeah, let's go. Defense. Make make him a tank. Make him really really hardy, which is great for your leader too. Two wounds, one fate, D seven. He's going to be hanging around to use his heroic presence a lot more. Uh, yeah, all right. That's a good point. Uh, next next model, which is the awesome new Axe previously man. shit rot gob. Yeah, Two dice on path sure of the warrior. Time. Three. Three. Ooh, is that good? Uh, that is Hero Slayer. Oh, yeah. So this hero gains oh. a bonus of plus he's, one. He's already good at killing people with the two-handed weapon. Oh, so. plus two now against heroes with his yeah, burly. Seriously. That's that's pretty awesome. All right, Path of the General. Now, I have a banner. Uh, Jacques has a banner. Jean does not yet have a banner. But I think it's time for Mordor to get a banner. So what we want is to see that roll that you just rolled on Three. Path of the Warrior. That's what we want right now. We want another two and a one to get yourself the inspiring presence, the six inch banner that basically everyone has except John. Uh, so, so, okay. so let's go. Two dice. Oh, Whoa, double well, sixes. That's good, right? Uh, so that Master is the Master of Battle plus two special rule. What is that? Uh, I, uh, so Master of Battle is when you have companies that are uh, when you have models that are deploying with um, on from oh, random random boarded edges you can modify oh. that role by up with plus two because it's special like it's cool but it's shit like we so I could take the army special rule instead you could because we've never used that like we haven't even played a scenario where that comes into effect why is rolling a 12 for that yeah that's terrible I would take your army special rule uh, instead I think I'm going which is plus one fight and plus one attacks on the charge. Oh, not on the charge, when you're outnumbered. Can you really just, like, look at that real quick to make sure that's right? It is. Yeah, plus one... To their fight and fight attack and values. values. Yeah, while they're outnumbered. So, yep, there we go. Solid upgrade. Nothing wrong with the uh, the extra special um, the, uh, kind of army-specific upgrade. The ASU. It's the ASU. It's kind of funny that you've rolled 12 on both tables now with the Heroic oh, Presence and the Master of look Battle. Anyway, let's jump into reinforcement time, my friend, because yes. for finally you're spending some reinforcements. Okay. I mean, but like with a good number. You've got 11 yeah. influence. influence. Oh, well, yeah. So, I have one slot in my company because Rag died. Yeah. Sadly. Yeah. Poor, Zag. poor Rag. Rip Rag. Rip Rag? Uh, no, not Rip Zag. Who's, who's Zag? I think that's another guy who died ages ago. Right. Probably. So, one dice. You're looking for something nice and high that we can modify to get onto the special table so we can get some of these juicy units. You can spend as much influence as you, you want. You can if you want. So, yeah, you could do it in hectic burn. All right, what do we got? A five. Mm. Beautiful. So, spend one to make that a six. Yeah. Uh, and then you're onto the special chart and you've got another D6. Let's see how we go. And another a two, warg rider. another warg rider. I'll take it. The horde is advancing, so five wargs. So now that leaves you with you've just spent four influence, so you've still got yeah. six. So you could make another roll and then dismiss a shitty Mordor orc if you get someone good. Yeah, or I could buy something. There is not a lot of war gear left that is worth it for you. Like rallying horn would have been good, but now you've got a full company. The, the, honestly, most of the war gear is trash. Except you should buy a shield. Oh yeah, I for, for, buy some equipment for Zagar. But honestly, that's that's pretty much it because you've only got three heroes and they've well, all got heavy armor and shields. Buy a shield for poker. He's got a spear. You could, but that's still only two influence. I reckon the I six you've got six. You should make the roll now. See how much you need to modify. Um, okay, well, who am I going to dismiss? If I, get good? I think you've got Probably one. Gordog? Gordog is not really good. Yeah, that's the two hander. Yeah. yeah. All right. One more roll. Sorry, a three. Yeah, it's gonna be like the two-handed weapon, <laughs> so I can okay. I just won't accept. Oh, but I can pay one to get a dude with a spear. That's true, but what you will do is lose all the experience that Gordog's already got. Um, honestly, if I were you, I'd just burn the three yeah, and get a, get another special unit. 
These units are so much better. Wild Rider, Morgul Stalker, Mordor, Urukai. So I just pay, pay three and I can pay another three to go to six. Yeah, which will mean that you can't buy a shield this turn, but I think it's better getting a better unit than a shield for one person. <laughs> Especially if you get like Mordor Urukai or or, yeah, or okay. another yeah. like you know Black Numenorean. You convinced me. Five. Black oh, for God Jesus Christ! The only model we don't have. All right, well I we. You said you have everything. Yeah, I know. I lied. We got to find that one now. So Black Guards of Baradu are uh, fight four, strength five, defense six, with big massive shields. They're awesome. Well, I... We've got that uh, do that Go Man of Gondor conversion. That's like a Black Dragon or whatever. Oh yeah, that would work in a, in a in a pinch. All right, cool. Well, an, uh, uh, the first kind of really awesome special unit for Jacko with the Black Guard of Baradua, uh, which is going to be pretty juicy. You know, I'm pretty sure Jack actually has some, so we're probably squared away. He's got everything. Cool. Well done, Jacko. Some promotions, some new dudes, and more Wag Riders. Finally, things are looking up for Mordor. So Johnny, we've got some uh, influence to do as well as some level ups for some troops. Uh, what are we looking at here? You've got uh, what so, troop hero hero? Yeah, troop troop hero. Okay, cool. Let's start with the sentinel. She's at the top of the tree, so yeah. she'll have to uh, become a hero if anything. Looking for a six and a six. Hey! <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Hell yeah! So she gains a fate point and she levels up hard. Now, what paths are these two lovely people on? I'll just get over to our heroic path table. One page over. Uh, you've got Path of the Ranger on this girl and Path of the Warrior. No, that's just a regular troop. Oh, that's a regular troop. Okay, cool. Well, let's do let's do uh, his advancement as well. Number two. And oh, another six. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. <laughs> Another hero, alright, cool, more yes. fate points. Uh, and now we've got Path of the Ranger for the big, beautiful, horse shooty bow master who kind of has every rule already. He has pretty much every single rule. So let's, let's dive into it. Two attacks, I mean 2d6. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> so that is might or will, probably the most useful. Um, uh, may gain either one might or maximum three or one will. Yeah, so how much, she's got might, two might already? Yeah, so just give him the extra might. Put it up to three. Three might, score. Now, how much influence have you got? You said you've got six? Four, four from your bank and two for losing. Yeah. Uh, not something you're familiar with, really. Uh, let's jump in. You've got you got your beautiful table here, and you've still got plenty of slots in your company, don't you? I do, and I get plus two from the passive benefits. That is hectic. So, I, if I roll... Is is that two separate territories conferring yeah. the same bonus? That is mental. All right, dude, you you're going to be able to get straight on that special chart. Guard of the Galadrim Court. Here we come. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Ahead. And it's on both. See, the thing is, it's on both. Tables, yeah. so like you can't ever get a Galadrim Knight now, Sweet. unless you. Yeah, that's fine. Look you, for him. Yeah. <laughs> all right. For all those dice. First dice is a one, oh, which one. becomes a three, and so then I'm gonna spend the next three to, to get to six. Yep. Yeah, so burning all six. Fair call. Fair call. And a two, which becomes a four, which is a guard of the Galadrim yeah, Court. Finally. Called it. John's <laughs> favourite model ever, and he's finally got one. Excellent. So your Sentinel's become a hero. Your elf warrior with the cool captain pose has become a hero. And you've picked up a guard of the Galadrim Court. Uh, what did you get for your bow dude again? I can't even remember. Oh, my points. Point. Very spicy indeed. Well done. All right, that's all of the wrap-up. Let's jump into the final outro. Well, Jacko, finally the taste of victory. Is it good? I said I tasted the blood and the blood... Well, I got more of the blood. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> it's good. Eloquent. <laughs> yeah, no, that, was, the blood. That, was a, that was a big game. Um, I'm just as exhausted as you guys are, I think. I tasted my own blood, actually. Yeah, that's true. You, don't, you need to move, move, move beyond the blood now. Um, so, yes, uh, lots of influence and lots of gains put to good use. you got a Warg Rider, a Black Guard of Baradur. Um, which is huge, some really incredible units, uh, and uh, and also some pretty great level ups. Tell, tell us about that, How, what, what sort of juicy stuff have we got? Okay, so as we saw, all my heroes level up this game. Drongot, my leader, the Dead Slayer. Defense 7 now. Yeah, that's tough. If, if you include the heavy armor and the shield. Uh, he's already got heroic presence in the army special rules, so he's like a monster in mm. combat. It's so it's good. Sort of. We saw, and especially like, you know, because he's on Wag, you just throw him against two guys on the charge. That takes him up to three attacks, which doubles to six if he wounds, and he can he can just mince people. It's really strong, really strong. Nice. I think I think the durability combined with heroic presence is gonna be cool too. Hey, where's he get the third attack from? Because he, when he gets outnumbered, remember? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Jackson knows his own roster. I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and, and that gives them 5-4 as well. Because yeah. that's the one thing your company is like sorely lacking is fight value. Yes. But it's not as bad as it used to be. You've got Fight Vor and Rock Gob. You've got two Black Numenorians, a Black Guard who Darren just Dura. yeah who just joined you. I think they're Fight 4, Strength 5, D6. I, I can't have you check. It's not a stack card, but it's, it's for, they're all over there. Yeah, um, it's so it's, it's, so it's looking good. It's looking good. Rock Gob, he's got Hero Slayer. And he's already good at killing people. Well, theoretically, he's good at killing people. Yeah. Um, that just makes it easy. Because he's, he's two attacks, isn't he's he? He's two well? attacks with a burly two handed weapon. Mm. And now he's plus one against heroes. Yeah, so hopefully plus two. He's got the manacles too. anymore. Mm. Yeah, the manacles. First manacle play. We can talk about manacles. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, <laughs> things are, are looking up for Mordor. Let's have a chat to, to our, our, four, our mm. poor loser, Johnny. How does, yeah, how, does it, how, does, how does it feel being the uh, the one who was finally defeated by Jacko? Is it, is it a hollow feeling? I mean, I didn't really insult. lose. I had most of my force there. Yeah. Jacko played scenario. the objectives, yeah, you know? The objective, he, right. he stabbed himself to victory, part two, and uh, and <laughs> fail, didn't roll fake rolls. He was just rude. Frankly. No, rude. full commendation for playing the objectives. And... <laughs> Being so brazen about who his <laughs> yeah. his guy was because I was just like, well, I could just try and deal with the rest of it. <laughs> that did not work. No, I yeah, I um I actually couldn't remember. I got them to tell me, but I forgot what both of them were very quickly. I was a bit worried that you were just going to run off and just kill him, yeah, and then come back, yeah. Um, but I get if that guy wasn't there, it would have made. Well, it would make a difference. Absolutely, mm. absolutely. Okay, so let's talk about let's talk about MVPs and like the big plays because there were some huge ones. Uh, Jacko, as Victor, you get to declare first. Who who was the apart from the Army of the Dead dice? That aside, who was who was the MV, MVP for you? I think Drongot was great. Like he fended off that massive attack in the on the first turn. How did he not die? He he called <laughs> yeah, a <laughs> he called a heroic move that ended in a heroic combat that mm -hmm. killed someone, and mm -hmm. then also I think he was there. Oh no, Rodgob did the stand fast. Yeah, but. Yeah, he was real good. Yeah, he executed um, two really important heroic slingshots where that resulted in kills on the front end and the back end of both slingshot, uh, both ends of the slingshot, um, which was awesome. Particularly as to do that, <laughs> he won one of the many heroic roll offs that went to Jacko to go first before he got pressured by by your slingshot. I was fortunate. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah, that the dice were with you but for sure. Rod Gob with that with those manacles was good too. Yeah, I, it was. Uh, it was awesome. Manacles are something I enjoyed from the last campaign that yeah. we played. Yeah, and, that's uh, right. Your Uruks with manacles. Yeah. I forgot about that. I like it. It's yeah. good. Like it's just like paralyzed is strong enough that you're effectively just taking your model out. And what I mean, it, it was a good like sort of one two because he paralyzed yeah, your good. your hero. Yeah, you just and then it else. was Drongon, I think, Drongon. Who, who finished him off the next turn. Yeah, so so it's it's good. All right, well, well, the, the two kind of big beefy warrior heroes once again shining for Mordor, which is kind of what we're, well, what we're used to. They're the only things who sort of did anything. Uh, but now the rest of the company's not awful, which is great. Uh, what about what about you, Johnny? Who um, was who was the MVP? Uh, I think it was my archer hero again. So. One day I'll remember his name, but um, <laughs> he just, it was the one that was like way on the flank, he just, he never managed to get a heroic combat off, but he managed, oh no, he got a heroic combat off I think mid game. Yeah, true, yeah, that's part of the one, two, three. He ended up just pulling people off towards the end of the game and just winning some pivotal fights that I think my, the, my elves have just been screwed. Yeah, he wasn't I mean, he's, 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 he's your shooty elf, but he's still got like two, two attacks. Two attack, yeah, he's, yeah, with two might. Two attacks as an elf. Yeah, five five. He's like, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a beast. He's, he's on the calf. The, he's the unofficial leader of. Yeah. Of the Who is your he's, real leader? He got he got manacled. <laughs> right, oh, that guy. Yeah, he got manacled. Oh, man. I yeah. dominated. Yeah. <laughs> leader on leader action. Yeah, if this was contest of champions, Jackson would have destroyed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, when you combat. Yeah, <laughs> very nice, very nice. Uh, yeah, it was it was huge. I think the big play for me was well, there were a couple. First of all, it was uh, John. I think you did the right thing, blowing all your will, trying to transfix Drong God mm. to make sure he died, and then Jackson resisting that, getting yeah. the will back, which he, was... he ended up using for courage later on, which was mm. yes, that which was, was very yeah. Good. So yeah. having that six was huge, and then surviving that fight, like Drong God should have died. Honestly, the, died. the first turn. Drongot probably should have died, and the other guy on the flank probably should have died. So that should have been two Wag Riders gone, and Zagar, I thought, would probably hold his even. Jackson survived with all of them, and got a kill with one of them. And we were just like, uh, <laughs> what? I was resigned to losing at least one model. 
yeah. at that point, I was just like, oh, there's not, I, there's literally nothing else I could do. Like, yeah. It was the best I think, play. I, I think you made the best possible play, and finally, <laughs> something went in your favor in mm -hmm. terms of, you know, what else could I have done? Well, there you go. It, it worked out this time. For sure. Um, and, uh, and, and yeah, obviously, I, I guess in terms of, let's talk about objective plays, passing the courage checks twice. Yeah. To keep your orc courage. Like, like let, basically, Jackson's victory came down to passing two courage tests with all courage. Like, that's. This is what he has Those to do. Those dice, man. Yeah. They were, were the dead dice. They were They're amazing. Good. Let's talk about the death of your objective, though, which kind of happened pretty early. Yeah, I was. It was, just, it was turn three, I think. I was not expecting him to charge the Sentinel as early, and mm. unfortunately, I was just. Just wasn't getting the other my magic goals off. Yep, yep. No and map control with that. I think for the first couple of turns, I was just rolling really low. Yeah, and it was. It was. Much you can and, do I really and, and I think with Galadrim, it's really key to make inroads early, mm. and because you're so soft, if you start losing a little bit of momentum, it can kind of snowball, sure. and that's definitely what happened. You just started going, oh, defense three, squash, defense three, squash, and all of a sudden, orcs who are useless at everything are like killing machines. Yeah. Um, so they were dominating. I think you. I, I was watching. You, you, you were kind of considering throwing the, the sentinel like really deep in and getting some wounds early and then like kind of pulling him mm. back and you ended up sending him back and in the end it probably would have been more beneficial to have yeah. his two attacks up front to so. stop Dromgot's heroic slingshot going off because because he, he went up the back instead Dromgot won that slingshot rode around and killed him yeah, and much. when he was on his own he just couldn't mm. do anything yeah. to stop it no. to be honest I, I was not even like thinking about who the messenger was, I was just like, I just gotta kill as many people as possible and hope that I can get courted yeah. and not lose I love spark. that. Your hope is, the draw. My hope is like, just come I'll, just, the I'll just play until my guys all die and hopefully have my objective And, and hopefully I won the objective. And it worked! <laughs> awesome. Well, fantastic game, guys. Good game. Well played. Well, you know, well enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, nice. Uh, and uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that big swell up at Jackson's first victory. Uh, it's, yeah, it was very fun to watch uh, as the, the cameraman and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Make sure you check out all the other episodes if you haven't already and check out our Patreon if you want to support the channel. In the meantime, keep on SPG Gaming guys and we'll see you next time here at Zorbazorb Zorb Gaming. Cheers. Thumb? Good. I, put the thumb on. I was just checking. Uh, sorry, do that again? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Jacques is going to be defending with his Gondorian forces and uh, Jacko has to take the lights off. Uh, yeah, <laughs> mind games. Oh, the God. mind games. I just, yeah, like I said, I, I yeah. <laughs> the joke never gets old. Oh, I'm going is, is it even a joke? It's just I like know. I just picked it's just it a thing. Yeah. Like, ah. I can do a smash cut of all the times you've done it. Right. I don't know. Yeah, you're gonna do that for sure. Definitely. Oh. <laughs>